Welcome to the Iron Keep Chronicles! Ba, ba, ba. It is our weekly Dungeons and Dragons game where I have assembled four of the finest players and my dog <laughs> to play through Tales from the Yawning Portal. The, we are currently enjoying, I hope you are also currently enjoying, uh, the Sunless Citadel, the intro adventure in... Uh, Tales from the Yawning Portal. I'm your host. I'm your dungeon master. Some would say I'm your oh my God. guy with asthma. What was that? <laughs> I'm, I'm an ancient Dead Egyptian inside. mummy coming to life. No, I'm your dungeon bastard. It says so, right? Wait, wait. Is it below me? It's on top of you. Is it on top of me? That's what you wanted is, the whole time. Is it yeah. where, where's my... We changed studios just so you could point at the right thing. <laughs> up here. Hey, it's not just my Twitter handle. It's also a dance. Come on, everybody. Do the Dungeon oh. Bastard. Nobody Hashtag did. unfollow Arnold. Tom Hama. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Does. Adam West. Hey, so welcome to our game. I'm so glad that you can all join us here this evening. We have uh, an exciting array of activities. We're building toward the climax of the Sun Sunless Citadel. Maybe I caused some confusion amongst my players, amongst you who live uh, out there in the ether in the internet. Uh, that you thought this would be the end of the adventure. No, I don't think the storyline is completely wrapped up, but I believe my, unless something goes wildly wrong, we are going to march directly into a brutal confrontation with Belloc. Not if the Vena has anything to say about it. <laughs> yeah. Let's go back to the rat one. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let's go around the table and check in with our players. Mr. Grav Galati is here, ladies hey, and gentlemen. Hey, it's me. Hi, It's everyone. me. Hi. Oh, this is my camera and my camera only because Amy is outside oh, taking a phone call. Yes. Hey, everyone. How's it go? Oh, Tom, you're ruining uh, my two shot every th time. This is reminding me of, 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 of this past Saturday when we spent <laughs> so much time together. There's a great screenshot of, or a clip of you looking so uncomfortable with me hugging you. <laughs> it's really terrific. <laughs> so yeah, scary. That was uh, so much fun. Thanks for everybody who came out and uh, donated and watched and shared. Uh, our Alzheimer's stream was a huge success. Wildly huge yeah. success. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, we broke our last year's record. And what was our total again, Dom? Was it six? 6800 I think? $6,800. $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60, $60,
Paladin of Justice. I, I snapped it a little bit because <laughs> the base was really bent because that Altoids box I was keeping it in uh, is uh, not very good. And I was trying to straighten it and uh, it snapped the base a little bit. But it's I fine. watched him break it. it Did you really? It was a scary uh, moment. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it still stands and I can fix it. I may just cut it off the base and get a new base. You have been crying, though. Yeah, it's... I spent a lot of money I, on this. So, <laughs> I mean, you know what? This is, like, this is the disadvantage to uh, the Hero Forge situation, right? Which is you're incredibly invested in that miniature. If anything goes wrong with it, you're like, ah! Yeah. Whereas if you just had, like, a Reaper Bones one, it'd be like, oh, no, I have to spend four and more dollars. Also, if I had a Reaper, I probably would have... Uh, like all the reapers I normally get are the metal ones, so I normally oh, go with the pewter ones. Nice. I, those are nice I too. like those old reaper metal ones. Yeah. Um, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, Amy Vorpal is here. She's taking a very important phone call, which is all we're going to say about that. She's going to tell us all I'm about not, it. I'm not, no. I do not mean that sarcastically. She is it honestly does sound really taking sarcastic. a very <laughs> important phone call. Uh, you know, this is Los Angeles. We sometimes have problems being talented. <clears throat> I don't, I'm not sure what those problems are Did myself. you say we have problems <laughs> being talented? Yes, that's the way I like to describe it. We're all broken inside because we're so good at everything. <laughs> Los Angeles. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> I laugh, but that's sort of true. It's true. Or like painfully, or like honest way. Uh, so before we get started here, while Amy is, is dealing with her Hollywood business, um, which is all good. Hollywood uh, business. I want you to crazy. know we can't get shots of it because we don't have a roaming camera, but Irving is here, mm -hmm. uh, Amy's dog, and my dog Luigi is here too. No uh, one's... He's being a good boy laying on his bed, so uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe we should do a thing where the chat can donate to give Luigi treats, which are just Cheez-Its that we stole from Havana. Uh-oh, he's perked up. He um, said treats. Yeah, They're right. almost right. Right. Oh, uh, what? Um, we'll, we'll consider that. All right, the mm. other thing that I want to talk about briefly here today is that Precision Tabletop has a Kickstarter going on. I don't know if you, no, I'm, it's probably not in the shot. Nope. But they have Hold sent us a, you can put them up here. a set of dice that are, I'm not, I'm not, like, this is not exaggerating. They are ridiculous. So first of all, we have, these, these are, these oh. are just cool. These are D6s uh, that wow. I, I don't know if they're cast or uh, what type of aluminum they are, but uh, those are cool. Those are part of the Kickstarter that they're doing. Is that correct or is that just one of their products? I think it's one of their products, but I think you can get a... Uh, you can get a bone add-on, get an add-on with get those yeah. dice. All right. This is a good uh, dice. I, what I like, I like, I like this, <laughs> I really like this case. Sixes and fives. Like, like it, it's kind of high-tech sci-fi yeah, wow. with the way that the pips are done. Which is fine, um, but I really oh. like this. <laughs> I got my bag. I'm one of those people who has to like. Is that a ten? No. I have to touch stuff. I'm I'm that bad. I'm that I'm that guy who's like, oh, this notebook feels really cool. If it doesn't feel cool, I don't want to use it. No, I do rub a notebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I like. Oh come on. What I like about this is it's your standard like metal snapshot case, but it feels really good in your hand. It feels really good in your hand. Uh, so that's one thing. Then they also sent us. Just for scale, this is my head. This is this D20 that they sent us. This is part of their uh, table breaker. Let's see this. Uh, table breaker. Table breaker Kickstarter. You might have seen Saving Throw a tweet about that uh, here recently. Well, guess what? They sent us a couple samples. Dom, do we have to send these back? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're sending them back. Well, there's a normal size D20, Chess X D20. That's that's your. Um, Table breaker. That's I don't know what that is. The junior size. I'm not sure exactly what size it is. Table it's not breaker, the biggest junior. because let me tell you something. Boom. That's the biggest. Uh, this thing is ridiculously heavy. It's it's so heavy. <laughs> now, admittedly, I'm not the strongest man. Strength is my dump stat. But I think I looked on the website and it's it weighs in at like five pounds or something like that. You can do curls with this thing. Yeah. It, is, yeah. it is ridiculous. Uh, you could roll it if you felt particularly malicious and destructive. Malicious. We're not going to roll it on this table because we will probably break something. Uh, I, I don't know that it's... You can roll it. I don't know that I recommend doing it. It does have a couple little 
uh, I don't know which camera is better, but it has a little, couple little casting points where they anodize it so they can make it the color and put the numbers on it. So it does have that in it, which I don't think... I thought, honestly, I thought, like, like is that a headphone jack? What's that? <laughs> yeah, that's, I thought I that also same thought thing. That can you imagine? Like, so here's my, here's my Kickstarter pitch <laughs> to you guys over at Precision Tabletop. Make one of these that uh, somehow either opens up or whatever, but has a phone charger battery inside. And so you could just oh. set that on the table, and then when your phone got low, you could just plug into the USB port and be like, <laughs> yeah, I am so much cooler than somebody who bought their phone charger for eight bucks at the Chevron gas station or whatever it is. So those are those are some cool things that we got. Uh, the Table Breaker Kickstarter. Table, is it Table Breaker Die or Table Breaker, breaker D20? You know, Dom has a link in the chat. You know, you can go check it out for yourself. I, I, I will be the first to tell you, it's not gonna be the cheapest thing that you ever back on Kickstarter, depending upon what you decide to back at. But this Ooh. is solid. This is a solid build. Like you are definitely getting your value out of uh, your pledge when you back this thing. It is, it is almost indestructible. Yeah, I could crush all of your Hero Forge minis with this, and I'm, oh, yeah. I'm inclined to do Don't that. Don't do it. <clears throat> so that's those. Those are some some cool things <laughs> which which we will be using to decorate our battlefield. Here this fine evening, uh, super fun. Thanks to uh, Precision Tabletop for sending those these samples over. Precision Gaming Solutions. Pre oh, Precision Gaming Solutions. Oh, official. Precision Gaming Solutions. Dot you com. have my endorsement. Uh, very good. Uh, you know, I'll plug a couple other Kickstarters while I'm at it. Uh, oh yeah, so many good let's ones. Let's see right the now. Dog Might. Dog Might. Have you seen the Dog Might Tabletop like? gaming thing. I think it might be done by now. Uh, well, it, was it was it? in his last hours. It was a set of eight mm -hmm. little, they all almost look like coasters. They all look like wooden coasters. Mm -hmm. But what it is, is it's little gaming trays. So you could put your oh. your bits, like if you were playing Carcassonne, you could put your meeples in there. Or if you're playing something oh, that's more... Oh, you tweeted a picture of it, didn't you? Mm, or share a link? Maybe. I don't think so. I don't know if I did or not. They were doing so well, I was kind of like, I don't need my help. <laughs> <laughs> I, I did back them. Uh, that seems super cool. I think it'd be cool. It, the, the tray that, like, it's got a tray, and then it has eight things in it, and then the strap goes over the top. Uh, so it, it forms kind of its like own a little carrier gaming case. gaming bento box. Yeah. Oh. And then when, but when you take it apart, then you put the tray down, and it, that becomes your rolling nice. tray. It's got leather in it. Cool. And then you've got eight, eight little of these... Uh, tr mini trays that have magnets on the side so they can connect together. Oh, nice. Oh, that's uh, cool. And then on top of it, Check you can decide what configuration you want. So if you want some that will hold cards, if you want some that will hold, say, campaign coins, if you just want some that are like a bowl, that's easy to like maybe use pente stones or something like that, whatever it is, keep your dice handy, whatnot, uh, you can decide what the configuration is. So I thought that was pretty cool. That's from Dogmite Games, and it's almost done. If it's, it's got like literally hours left if it's not, if it didn't finish earlier today. So keep that in mind. Uh, and then also uh, Arcana 5E, the Arcana 5E. Attack! Oh, yeah. Luigi wants to go have a drink out of Irving's water bowl. Oh, that's fine. Irving doesn't care about anything, so. <laughs> no, maybe maybe anyway. Luigi was just worried that you had left the room and now you're back. Aww. Yeah. Oh, Luigi, I'm fine. Oh, oh uh, man. Butt to the camera. If... No, there's, he's not. I don't think he's in there. Oh, no, he's he's just going to do his little, take a tour and try and get pets. Uh, the Arcana 5e notebook looks pretty cool. I backed that. It's, yep. it's a, a leather great. journal that is has a, a, a snap open binder inside of it, and the binding materials, like the the paper inserts that they have, actually are really well designed yeah. and seem useful. And they have a little plastic ruler that snaps in that has range and five yeah. foot increments on it. There's a dice tray in there too that snaps together. Yeah, there's a, yeah. one of those leather and like pop, spell pop. card holders. Yeah, a it ruler. was really yeah. well, like really cool. well put together. So I, I backed that. So that's our little <clears throat> Kickstarter update, like everybody. There we did. We, we did around the horn. Hey, everybody. Amy Vorpal's here. Hey. She doesn't have hey. her microphone on. Sorry. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. We're getting there. Thanks for being patient. Thanks for I don't know riffing for however long you did. That was a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. But I'm here. Yeah, Yay. very good. Very good. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Amy is playing Taxeli Pond. You yes, I'm Taxeli Pond. I'm a dwarf mystic, uh, which is basically the uh, Forgotten Realms version of the Eberron Scion. 
So there you go. And Ugh, so many fucking words. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Tack thinks Love that maybe mom. one day she'll hear the voice that has been speaking to her through her toys, her creepy ass toys, uh, for all of her life. So that's what she's hoping to find out. She just got she just got so much information hey. last time that oh, yeah. her family's involved and mm -hmm. may and, and she thought that she she was an isolated the incident boy. in her family that that this horrible not horrible this kind of helpful kind of evil voice has been speaking to her but it turns out maybe not maybe her family has uh, has some secrets that they fucking need to tell her who would speaking of last session who, who would like to start the recap and then everybody can chip in details as oh. they see fit Did anybody. Yeah. Want to kind of take a stab at it? As you said, you learned a number of things about yeah, your we all did. family. Really, uh, the, there were there were two main parts to the to the session last week. One was screwing around with Sterna. Yeah, we spent <laughs> oh, three yeah. hours RPing with a, a weird elf and a tiny hat, uh, and then we fought some stuff. Wait, what's the tiny hat? He, he had was, a tiny hat. He was oh, steampunk a weird elf in to a tiny hat. The nine. I you said a weird Gigi. elf and a tiny. Gigi was a Gigi. I, I, Gigi. Thought, I thought you said a weird Giggly. elf and a tiny hat. Like we were talking about. Oh, a yeah, hat. we were talking about a hat. Like, I don't remember yeah. role playing with a hat. <laughs> yep. Oh, here he is. Don't, don't think I oh, haven't yeah, done yeah. that. There he is, Amy. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that, oh. He had goggles. He had it's goggles. True. I have goggles. He was like a weird scientist. I, I picture him like a Danny Elfman. Um, t sorry, Tim I picture Danny DeVito. And then uh -huh. he told us specifically, don't touch the dragon statue. And then uh, <laughs> Avril oh, yeah. jumped and did a bad flip onto the dragon statue. I touched statue. that statue so hard. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. it summoned a, 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 a demon shadow thing. Uh, but then we smote it. Real hard. Real hard. How much XP do we get from that? No contest. Six. <clears throat> Six points point. to you were, share? You were warned not to touch the thing, and then you went and touched it. That's yeah, not you a, got negative not experience, experience you know? points for that. You hey, you're actually level two now. Points? Oh my god. That's what? Really, that's a weird DM move. Yeah. That's super passive aggressive. Bit, yeah. Wait, is that true and real? No. Oh. It's not true and real. Oh! <laughs> I'm happy that's not true and real. That would have been Are awful. you an actor? That was very convincing. <laughs> oh my god, these fuckers. Yeah. What the fuck Be are careful they? of your Do phone. Do not roll that. It will destroy your phone Do and not destroy the table. Roll that. Yeah. What about, will it destroy Gorov's head? <laughs> Probably. You could easily murder someone with this. Wait, why are these oh, here? They're for a kickstart. Well, earlier, while you were on oh, the phone... Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, these are from Precision Tabletop Gaming. Nope. Did I say it wrong? Something Solutions. Precision Gaming Solutions. Uh, big Time Gamer... Game Burger. <laughs> game big Time Game Burger. Game Burger. Game burger. These, are the, these are part of the Table Breaker Kickstarter, and this is their giant aluminum maxi Table Breaker D20. This is their more reasonably sized D20. And this is my D20, which is like normal, which you would normally roll. Table so. I would like to build the table that those uh, make sense on. <laughs> like just like, I don't know, like a football field made of metal. <laughs> I <laughs> yeah. feel like you need to, like, have to, you need to <laughs> mount that thing to some sort of like scepter and like just club people with oh it. Oh my like, god. Just, that's yeah. not how you play well, that's Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> huh? That's how they what? play it? No. Huh? Oh, I need to change my notes. <laughs> I rolled a 20! Because <laughs> <laughs> so I right said so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, As very good. So. Uh, so, does anybody want to recap the information that you learned from Gingy the Poisoner? Oh, right. Oh, yes. A lot of stuff. Uh. Um, so, since I started, I'll keep going. Gingy, for about my family and me, uh, I basically, I, I probably have this tree power that's infesting the, the citadel. I probably have it because apparently my sister has it, and I can use the tree power to defeat Belloc, which is fine, but then the question is, can I use it to defeat who he serves? So Belloc isn't even the end <gasps> deal. Aww. He's fine. The sweetest mm -hmm. little bear. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. So Why are you like the thing? Uh, I, this is like every <laughs> five reaction? seconds with her. <laughs> um, so apparent, and also <laughs> so ages mean. ago, my parent came. My parents. My parents came, came to the to the citadel to get the best wood that helped them sell <clears> the toys. Which that's what my obsession has been, but I didn't know that they had the same obsession. 
And uh, so, yeah, it's going to be weird that they made a deal basically with these people, maybe, and I didn't yeah. know about it. Also, mm -hmm. Jinji's uh, basically a slave. He's magically held uh, to oh, him. Right. Um, he's married to Bella. Yeah, um, got a ring. Magically. Yeah. Uh, he's... Uh, He's the one who makes Grinnick, but the Grinnick we've seen before is like the weak shit. Yeah. Like he makes the real Child's Grinnick, play. The real good Grinnick shit. I um, imagine he's like a fat Snape. Yeah. Also, uh, the <laughs> the uh, mayor uh, sends, tends to sense pay. I guess he pays uh, Belloc for shit, and people come here for go goods and services and like trade shit to Belloc to get stuff. And the mayor's made a deal with Belloc. And that's that's all kinds of fucked up. Mm. Yeah, bad and words. Does anybody bad. can anybody shed more illumination on that particular situation? With the mayor? Yes. Um, it was like a protection thing. Mm -hmm. From what? Goblins. Uh, ah, yes, uh, that was what was uh, stated last session. Is that the mayor is essentially playing paying protection money to Belloc, mm -hmm. and Belloc is in league with the Fang Splitter goblins who are in, infesting Neverwinter Wood. Yeah. And so the mayor is like paying Belloc off so that the goblins will come and attack Oakhurst because it would be a ripe target for them. Right. Also, well, I met some goblins and I almost got married, but then I didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was bizarre. So I have a question. Yes. Why would, if my parents knew where this place was, why were they so fucking freaked out that Dell was there? They would know why. Wouldn't they? Well, I mean, well, but the, yeah, just because they do it doesn't mean they feel good about it. Yeah. Like, even if you do meth, you don't want your kids to do meth. Yeah. No. Yeah, My but, kids are going to do the exact same thing. But they were acting like they had no idea. They were acting like they had no idea why she might be going there. And it's very clear that there is an idea. Okay. But let's, 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 let's reflect on something. Yeah. You found out in one fell swoop that... The mayor is involved in some way, right? And that your family is involved with Belloc in some way. Yes. Right? That's right. Those two people or those two groups may not know that the other one is involved. Oh, oh. So right? It's a so from so the mayor might not know that. In fact, it would be somewhat surprising if the mayor knew that your parents were involved with Belloc and, and doing God whatever is it. happening. And, and maybe your parents are so ashamed of what's going on that they don't they okay. don't dare tell the mayor. All right, fair enough. I don't know. I don't know what this tree power is either. That's fucked up and weird. And I don't I don't know. Another question is I don't know if it's related to my toy voice speaking to me or not. Like if I if Tack just has just all kinds of dark power <laughs> surging through her veins. Mm -hmm. Very good. <clears throat> uh, the only other thing I want to clarify is there was a mention made by Jinji. Uh, during your discussion that your parents didn't initially approach the Sunless Citadel, right? Yeah, they did. Bellic, they... Bellic came down to the village and gave them some wood, essentially gave them a free taste. Yeah. And they made some ex exquisite toys that they sold for a really great profit. And then Mess. the next month they tried to make some more toys and the quality First just wasn't there. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. then they had to seek Belloc out to find what that special wood was. Is, Jer is Jerry made out of that wood? Well, we don't know. It's probably not Jerry, it's probably the, the hearts and the, that magic. The dragons? Are going wild. The dragons, I think, are, just are, going, are stone. They haven't stopped. Yeah, yeah, the dragons are oh, stone. No. He's broken. Yeah, they're jade. They're jade! Tom, they're quit jade. acting. <laughs> it's distracting. Look at that face. Like, Irving is just, like, so sad. He looks, he looks ashamed. <laughs> you think he looks ashamed? Look at my dog. <laughs> oh, my God. It's just, this this Irving, is a battle. I wish my dogs were here. They're the opposite of, of whatever's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to win? The two saddest dogs in Los Angeles have assembled <laughs> in one place to determine who is the ultimate <laughs> pathetic weeno. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Very good. Um... Anything else? Anybody wants to address? Should we start playing the Dungeons and the Dragons? Did we talk about where Del was? Where she went? She's in the... She's in the... the well, she did bring... Because she brought she's in the, an offering, but it wasn't enough so yeah, that she's, she's, her. She's, she's in the Twilight Grove. Yeah, right next to where Belloc's study is. Uh, real quick, I, I also learned something last week. Um, when we started this session, Tom oh, yeah, was like... that's right. Tom was like, hey, you know, if you guys want to have parents and have a backstory or something, that's cool. And I'm like... Oh, what's what if my dad just died of like this cool 
lame disease. And he Ill somehow, cough. He somehow just wove that into the backstory, and now my dad, now it's a big thing. And yeah. Yeah. it's fine. It's totally fine. Listen, I'm going to have to go on a revenge yeah, story. Yeah, so Jinji created uh, daddy murdering poison. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, the guy whose armor you're currently daddy wearing killing. murdered <laughs> your daddy with that poison. Ooh, uh, uh, did you call him daddy? No. Is that what happened? Oh, no. Yeah. Mm, yeah. That is what happened, and you are wearing his armor still. Yeah, but it's like, you know. Like a coward. That's my way of revenge. It's like, ha ha, I got your stuff. <laughs> Too bad you're already dead. I got one. I mean, B, I got one B three of your arrows, pal. I do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, I do know. like. I do yeah. like playing it as if you know. The, you can't really find this good of armor everywhere, so it's kind of like, yeah, I probably should take it. <laughs> They're Even, not gonna use it. I'm gonna shove it down Belloc's throat. Yes. Your armor? Yeah. You should just, no, you, you can't should, eat that. That's you not just edible. Wear it. You should just it's that's studded. why the, that's why the really rats strong. left it. It's studded leather. What? That's why the rats left. Rats exactly. are probably mm -hmm. sleeping in it. <laughs> Inside the right. corpse. Inside Very the good. Uh, let's do. Let's take care of some business, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There are a couple ways that you can affect our game. Uh, you can give the table bumps. Oh, I forgot my inspiration little things. Well, how oh, Funko we pops. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we yeah. table break. We'll, we'll use right table first. break. Something. We'll figure it's it out. Awesome. Uh, so uh, <laughs> our our uh, bumps are tracked using these campaign coins. They're graciously do donated by those folks. Uh, I love these D20 tokens. So you can go get some yourself on their website. Uh, I think Paizo also send, sells them. Uh, you can also get them at Gen Con. They will be there at Gen Con. Uh, so speaking of bumps, oh boy. Uh, BSB Care gives the table a bump. Thank Yay. you. Yay. Ms. Bagar. Hey, Thank uh, you, Ms. I get care. three, of course. <laughs> Every one of Dumb. theirs. Uh, I don't like it. Yabba Debba. Yabba Debba gives the table a bump. Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Boom. Oh, that's three more for me. Thank you. Suck. You. Yes. Yabba Debba. Uh, the other John Stewart gives the table two bumps. Yes. 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 Oh, yes. John Stewart. My Apparently, John Stewart. Somebody tuned in on Tuesday and found out it's going to be a, a big night oh my for God. our players here. Oh, right. Oh, oh yeah. God. Apparently, it's the finale. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just the climactic showdown. It's We're not the never finale. playing Well, again. on Twitter, your wording was <laughs> I know. cryptic if it's not the finale. Yes. We're going to melt all of our finale. minis that we paid a lot of money for. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's unless you lost many. them, and then they're safe because they're they're already gone. They're already someplace Jeez. else. All right. Very good. I can't believe uh, I did and Ray Sunlight. Gives the table a bump. Yay. Thank you, Ray Sunlight. Yes. Thank Very you. Good. So that much. unlocks uh, short rest and super crits. Yes. Yay. We need Thank them soup crits. Soup crits. Soup. Uh, that's three more for me. Oh, I've got. No soup crit for you. I've got 15 Get this bumps. Out of here. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be what? brutal, you guys. So what? Very good. Uh, do you have do you have any um, <laughs> oh, good for you. crackers left or not? Crackers? No, oh, man, no. I ate them all. Why? Oh, that's fine. No, the the chat wants dollars. Luigi to have a little treat. I didn't bring any. That's my. Bad. Wait, Cheez Its? We have plenty of Cheez Its. Yeah, we have They're so yeah. far away. And gold goldfish? Can I give him a goldfish? <laughs> yeah, if you want. Right. <laughs> well, we don't get it. According to this, he gets oh. two. All right. Oh. Yes. Dunk kind of a All water right. too. So the other way that you can affect the game is there are uh, nine lords of the Iron Keep who hold sway. Oh, that's the super fumble deck. I'm just gonna set that aside for a moment. <laughs> I didn't ask for anything. Dom. Oh, it's, everybody, it's Dom. It's Christmas time yes. for Dom. I'm the keep. He wow, these the are so box. many. Not yep. allowed. Sure. Get that out. Yeah, that's what's going right. I bet he could. He's yeah. super good. There are nine Lords of the Iron Keep. Thanks, Dom. Thank you, Dom. They influence our game in the following ways. There's one Lord who is ascending. They grant a 1d3 bonus. To any roles involved in their portfolio. There's one Lord who is dominant. They grant advantage to any roles that are within their portfolio. And then finally, there is one Lord who is distant, diminished, who uh, inflicts a 1d3 penalty to any roles involved in their portfolio. <clears throat> who? Snarf, 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 snarf. Jump, what jump, a jump, dainty jump, jump. boy. What a dainty, what a good boy. <laughs> what a dainty boy. <laughs> Uh, who would like to draw for the ascending well, like, he lord ate it this like evening? This. He ate it like I'm his mouth. Give me, give me some goldfish. Like I'm this. his mouth. 
<laughs> what the dainty boy? <laughs> Who would like to draw for the ascending? Grav. Grav wow. wants to. Very good. And we oh, all want that do it. Card. It is Lord Strembian Hort. All right, Lord Strembian Hort, uh, whose council governs, <laughs> whose portfolio govern, governs counseling, discerning, or invoking the elders. Mm. Who would like to determine who the uh, dominant lord is? Me, even though you're making eye contact with Eric. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's Amy's game. I just run it. <laughs> Viva in shrouds. See the unseen. Tap the weave. Call into shadow. These are bad. Ooh, that that's, one's good that's, for that's me. That's advantage good on those. For me. Very good. And then See finally, the unseen, which though. lord is distant? Eric? Always the bad one. Wait, I have to make a kind of contact with Amy and then let Eric draw. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry about this. Ooh. Iran mocks sneak, hide, enter, uh, or escape. Oh! oh. oh Arun mocks. Can someone please change the elders? I think these are terrible. <laughs> <laughs> please, please, please. Very good, very good. Those are our current uh, <laughs> ruling lords of the Iron Keep, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, with that in mind, let us enter a realm of epic fantasy. It's time to begin tonight's session of Dungeons and Dragons. Yay! Yay! Cue the theme music. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that was like the intro to like a 60 minutes version of Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. I thought it felt very 80s. It made yeah. Dom Perk right up. That's right. Mike Wallace walks out and he's like, Dungeons and Dragons was invented in the 1974 by E. Gary Gygax. Mike Wallace? Oh no. Wait. I don't know who that is either. No, Le but I didn't Leslie say Leslie Stahl walks out. Oh. Um, morally safer. Oh, morally safer. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, oh my God. God. I know that one. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, is this like a we're not nerdy enough or we're not old enough kind I, of situation? I don't want to discuss this situation any further. <laughs> All right, very good. So when we last, or are we we're not too, smart too, enough? We're too old. <laughs> it's us. Yeah, we're too old. We're too old. <laughs> We're all three. And now we're we cut young, to... young, dumb, and, and cool. Dungeons and, and Dragons. And horny. We're not nerdy. <laughs> now we cut to Dungeons and Dragons with Andy Rooney. You know, when I was playing Dungeons and Dragons... I hate We this. didn't have all of these Genasi, or... It was just Elf, and that was a class. Can you make, like, a Dane Cook joke? I think that was in there. <laughs> Dane Cook. But yelling, and we're yelling. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Ooh. So really fast. Give up the Dungeons and Dragons. That's pretty really good, Dane Cook. so many muscles happening. <laughs> it's just like all the flexing. <laughs> like he only does comedy so he can flex. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Check out ways. how much I just worked out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also, it's always like, you ever like Dungeons and Dragons, right? You ever like, like, like you're playing and it's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> you ever play D&D and, like, D &D, and yeah. you're like, oh, shit. Wow. <laughs> that is 100% getting clipped. I guarantee you right now somebody's just like, yep. Zoop, boom. All right. We'll drop that in a little Twitter. Away we go. Very good. Uh, <laughs> Amy Cook. All right. When no, we yeah, last, when we last Protective. left, I'll stay single forever. <laughs> <laughs> when we last left our heroes, they had just defeated so the weird mean. shadow demon thing or whatever it was, which Avril had. Un I'm just feel like I'm going to be. Doing I feel a lot like you're putting tonight, a lot of blame on me. Which, which Avril had just. Um, it's hot. You can. Can, I, can I plead my case? Is everybody knew exactly what I was going to do when we entered that room, and nobody. Tried to stop me. I froze. He did you. actually he did. use his one oh, cool yeah. thing Nobody. to stop you. Nobody. And then he grabbed tried you. to stop. <laughs> Nobody tried to stop me. I tried to, sure. to like barrel you and you backflipped out of it. Yeah, that's true. All right. <laughs> Deception. Um, <laughs> it's still a fifteen. Yeah. That's Roll great. against my deception. Oh. Two. Two. <laughs> okay, everyone believes me and not. Uh, <laughs> no, we no, saw it. Unfortunately, yeah. we saw this happen. That's I think, true. I think the more apt, did you? I no. Did you? <laughs> I feel like the more apt uh, application of those die roll die rolls is die that roll. everybody everybody <laughs> believes Grayson, but they don't care. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's probably fair. right, but that's not our problem. But Avril's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> that's not, that's not up fun. for debate. All right, very what? good. What? I'm really fun. Yeah, that's not up for debate. That's oh, taken as a given. Yeah, I thought you said that is up for debate. Oh. Not up for debate. Avril was going to spend the whole episode crying. <laughs> No one likes me. That sounds like a role playing challenge. I roll to comfort. <laughs> okay, very good. So Just you are. Allow okay. me to retrieve my notes. <clears throat> Shall we? Shall we? Are these yours? No, it's those are from the Kickstarter. Jimmy, I love them. <laughs> Where were you? I I posted. I was on a. I was on a I was on a good phone call. Uh, good, good ass good, fucking phone real call. Good. Call good sex phone line. Call. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she left to make a sex call. No, I left to receive a sex call. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there are hot singles in my area. <laughs> and one of them's me. And Ready they want to chat talk. live yeah. now. <laughs> All right, dragon carved granite blocks tile this chamber's walls and ceiling, though many are crumbled and broken, creating stony debris on the floor. A huge marble statue of a rearing dragon still stands in the curve of the western wall. The eye sockets of the dragon are empty, but a red glow lingers there, providing reddish light throughout the chamber. The effulgence casts an inky shadow behind the statue's wide wings, although maybe that set shadow is not quite as inky now as it once was. A crumbling five-foot diameter circular redstone tile is inset into the floor in front of the rearing dragon. Runes are carved around the circular tile's inner edge. Uh, so that's essentially where we left off. It said... Uh, is that the one, is that dragon statue the one that Avril... Mm -hmm. Yes, that she she touched and then the it says shadow under Draconic, Draconic, read those, yeah, let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Yes, okay. in Draconic it does say that. Yes, right. the let shadow. the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. I thought we figured out you, that's how we you, use the shade. You or whatever saw that, that, but you did not have a chance, I think, to say it. Oh, 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 oh say oh, it, oh. baby. Okay, wh where is it again? Well, I think it won't one? it illuminate the dragon, and then we have to fight that thing again. No, no, they can't do it. Two would, again, to again! Them. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. Oh, is that the biology of how uh. baddies live in the dungeons? Yeah, you can't do that. No, I live here, man. This is my turf. One's in the top bunk, one's in the bottom bunk. Who's saying that? Those two shadow dragons live together in bunk beds? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait, but it wasn't. Was it a shadow dragon? I, th I thought it was just a shadow. It was just we a weird shadow. Know. Yeah. Shadow I'm, diamond. I'm imagining the stone dragon takes an elemental form and turns into some weird elemental. Only one way to find out. Are we okay. ready? Christmas. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Say them more. Should I? I guess it can't stop you. So. Yep. Oh yeah, here. Let me hold a, my candle up to it. Oh, he's a source. By the way, before Sorcerers? you before you start Sor this, Sor RJ Sor Sorcerers gives yeah. the table inspiration. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, I like I this one. Ooh. Oh, inspiration. Yes. Sweet. RJ, RJ, short. thank you. I like RJ, thank you. Were you the ocean or were you the bird? I was the tree. Oh, yeah, oh. here. I was okay. the Are bird. The no, I wasn't the bird. I was the candle, I think. Okay. You weren't the bird? I, I was I the bird. Oh, yeah. Very good. You're the bird sense. song. The bird I like the these word. better than the Funko Pops. Yeah, the Funko Pops are random and weird, and you spent like $3 for no reason. I don't like the theming of them. I got additional Funko Pops. That's one of the reasons they're not here. I like, I like pop culture less than I like fantasy imagination stuff. Me too! <laughs> I'm with Amy. <laughs> um, All of our tonight, snacks should be turkey legs. Everything's a bummer. T tonight's game of Dungeons and Dragons is round robin, let's pugilize Tom and his ego. Just, oh, you know a big just word. <laughs> Yeah. Also, the sodas are too far away now in the new studio. Put that mini fridge on my face. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> All right. Very good. So, <laughs> after, uh, after debating about the draconic ins inscription that ins read it. encircles the redstone uh, tile. <laughs> Amy, shut up. Shut up. Honey, what? this is not on brand. Stop. Oh, well. You're so on fleek right now. I, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm being on brand. I know that I'm yeah. being on brand. No, That's also very you're true. not being on brand for attack. 
Oh no. I'm At least not. laugh no. in Dwarvish. <laughs> <laughs> There's more ho hos and less ha ha. It's more. It's like a cough. It's Every like, dwarf uh, is Santa in <laughs> fantasy world. <laughs> <laughs> Did you lose your teeth? <laughs> That's my door. Well, what can I do for you? <laughs> it's on the ground. You don't need to hold my notebook. Let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Where are you standing? I'm on that tile. You're on that what? tile? Yes. What if you turn into one of them? <laughs> that would be fucking dope. dope. All right. Dope. You, you guys dope. make bad dope. decisions. You, you speak this, this phrase in Draconic. Yes. Yeah. I'm ready for my level up. Right. Free level up. A puff of spectral flame envelops you. Yeah. I knew it. Yes. And, and it no, ghost away. flames are great. You oh. are transformed into shadow energy. You become Whoa. an incorporeal. No, it doesn't happen that way. I wish. Oh my god! Oh my You're god. such a shit! <laughs> yeah, maybe. Good, it? I was so excited for you to be Peter Pan's shadow <laughs> buddy. Yeah. I'm just on fire, aren't I? Uh, no, you are engulfed by spectral flame, and then as it sort of diminishes, it seems to like go within you and warm. <gasps> Your uh, in your your being, your spirit, your soul, as it were. Me next. Ooh, I got indoor heating. Oh, you, you got a nice shower. You gain advantage on oh. charisma checks for the next twenty-four hours. Whoa, what? cool! That's, that's my cool. worst stat. Mm -hmm. uh, that's I need sweet. to get on this. Me next. That's How do you feel? Should, that should have been me. I feel great. You guys like my jokes? What? I have some new jokes I could tell. Yeah, yeah. tell us uh, some sure. jokes. And then, so I would normally say no because I'm not, that's off brand, but <laughs> <laughs> I am kind of into it because of, look at you. I'm like, you know, getting a good, I forgot your name, a good <laughs> Thon vibe. Oh, it's Thon of the Morningwood. I don't know if you remember you wrote that. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I love those, those vegetarian patties. What? Morning wood? That's morning star. Morning wood. <laughs> same thing. Morning what? wood. What is not the same thing? Wood, stars. One's a penis. People, slugs. Nouns. No, it's not a penis. It's a hard penis. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the difference. Ta-da! <laughs> That's my jokes. <laughs> Let's <Where> go. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, me next. Do me. I mean, no, you know, with the... The, the tiles, don't. Uh, Morning, would you? Listen, we're best friends, okay? That's just like... Best friends! Wait, you guys are best friends? We have matching, yeah. we have best friend earrings. We have best friend earrings. Do you not remember this? You, you literally had the same reaction last week. You know, like, we're best friends, and you're like, what? How could you be? I'm best friends with everyone at this table. You two can't be best friends. I'm best friends with both of you. You went away to college. Are we best friends? <laughs> He's got Gregory. Oh, oh no. I mean, it's just. Wait! Like, no, I mean, Gregory's awesome, but. Do I not have a best friend? I, you, you might. We're, I don't know. we're best friends too, Tag. You have two best friends? Mm -hmm. There's I this have guy two, in, in my paladin training. Not three, two <laughs> best friends. Wait, what are you talking about? There's, I, I have, there's a guy in my, my paladin class, you know, so... Paladin he's, class? He's, he's Are you saying cool. he's my best friend? <laughs> he's my, oh, he's your best friend. Yeah. So everyone has these goddamn best friends except for me. I'm your best friend, Tag. Swear to, swear to all the gods? Well, Torm? I only believe in that one who's naughty. <laughs> I don't know. Who's that? <laughs> Leviathan? <laughs> it him. Uh -huh. Him. Yes. I don't want Her? to swear to Leviathan. <laughs> Leviathan is a lady. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, I'll have to deal with this later. I guess, you know what? Let's role play this for an hour, please. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I, Climax. I have been in my head, if I, you know what, if I were you, I wouldn't be my best friend. No, either. you're, Tack, you're great. It's just like, we, we don't hang out, really. As you get more and more upset, you kind of hear this purring coming from inside your Oh, I forgot dragon. my dragons. They're my best friends. Great, let's move on. <laughs> Not, oh. Damn. Hello? <laughs> He's like a phone. <laughs> yes, I hear you. Hello, is spirit? that you? Yes, is this that is you? Is that the voice? Oh, I'm like, oh, where are you guys my best friend? Yes, 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 where's my voice? Yes, oh, I, I, care. I care so much about my voice and not so much about you. We just, <laughs> we kind of grew apart. We all went our own directions. I guess that's yeah. true. I guess I need to put more effort into being you guys' as friends. Yeah, that would be could, great. You could make some arrows for me when we get back. Oh, apparently, that, I think arrows are your best friend. My <laughs> best friendship can be bought by arrows. I didn't say that. All right. I just thought we could do that something together. That is a together. super dick thing to say. I just thought we could do <laughs> something like, you together. You can be my friend and make me stuff. Next, gonna, you're gonna say she looks tired or something. I was. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> 
All right. Well, um, maybe next time, at least, it won't be new news. <laughs> like it continues to be. <laughs> 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 At this uh, point, I, I would like to remind great. the table that you gave those awful goblins your pledge to have dispatched Belloc within in, an hour, yeah. and so oh, far, right. yeah, we it should. has been um, just, 55 you, minutes. What, what the, the fuck? fuck? I just dropped my dice bag. That was the most like, infuriating thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I went into an instant rage. Yeah, how are you? How dare you? <laughs> I was about I'm to say, how are you? <laughs> Don, do me. You do me. I'll, I'll stand here, and then you say the words. I want it. I want some of this juice here. Okay. Uh, what's with, I forgot the words. Let the sorcerer's power illuminate my spirit. Her All spirit. Right. Unfortunately, as you say this, you notice that the nothing happens. Okay. And God. the red sparkle that was in the dragon's eyes, kind of the reddish light, the reddish glow... Gone. You used it up. Oh, it's For on, fuck's sake! It's it was, on cooldown. It it's was, called Shrook! <laughs> it was one you said. <laughs> 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 but, but Avril, when you look at him, you use it one, when, when you look at him, you do see that he has almost sort of like these like spectral draconic wings and the, kind of this, this these horns coming him? out. Yeah. I'm but only when you stand in the circle. When you stand, when you get out of the circle, it's like, oh. Okay, I don't want to alarm you, Thon, but your shadow is a demon. What? Your shadow's a demon. Is it? Do I see it? It's... Come stand over next to me, Tag, and look at Thon. I don't think Thon you don't, is... You don't see anything. What? <laughs> Only I, think... I see it? You saw it briefly, and then you stepped out of the circle, and it was gone. I, I stepped back in the circle. Look. No, you don't see it now. No. Wait, what? Um, I must be high. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's a acid flashback. Give me an intelligence check. Ooh. I know, Ooh. your favorite. Wait, does she get a council discern and invoke the elf? Oh! Oh! That ain't bad. Not bad. What do I, can I use one of these? Council? Discern? Uh, discern? I'll give you a discern. No, you know what? I'll give you advantage because it's see the unseen. Oh, there you go. So, well, I so probably roll won't roll better than that. Let's find out. Nope. So, 17 minus 1, 16. 16? It... Or it does sort two. of occur to you, like, you only saw it, like, after he s spoke the words. You saw it briefly, and then it kind of flickered out. Well, if those goblins come back, maybe I could just talk to them, you know? Maybe. I think it's, yeah, yeah. I think he's fine. Like, I, my dragons are going crazy in my purse, so uh, I'm not too, you know, my thing is, things that seem evil probably just aren't. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I feel that's like not that's a good. Pretty... Ignore all your instincts. That's uh, that's kind of your advice, right? I feel here. like I could sense when something's bad. <laughs> and and right, okay, I I get that. Anyway, but do you sense that this is bad? I feel like I just it's like him better. He's... my reaction to him is just improved. I've always thought Thon was really cool. Aww, are we becoming best friends too? Excuse. Um, oh, are you? Oh, I'm asking him. Wait, are you? I mean, I wouldn't say no to that. Yeah. Wait, is it like an announcement thing that you have to do? Like, all no, right, you everyone. Do. We're best, best friends, friends now. It's just something you got to put in the time, Tack. That's all. That's all it is. Okay. Are you, you talking people? like me? <laughs> <laughs> I like the fact that you feel like this is some sort of trick. Yeah. <laughs> you put in the time. Friendship. Mm. <laughs> all right. So this is like a stalling it. tactic. I'll she figure out what he really means. Demon <laughs> shadows are fine, but like, <laughs> just like the normal motions of friendship is like very suspicious. How do I want my best friend stat on my sheet? Come on. Can you just describe the shadow one more time? You guys Tom? are definitely in my top three. Oh, oh thank wait. you. On, on uh, MySpace? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Who's number two? Oh, Tom, near the default. <laughs> to be fair, I have Avril first. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's kind of will you, just, will you just describe the shadow one more time? Is it like the shadow that was on the statue, or is it something more human? No, so it's 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 sort is of it glowing beautiful? red spectral, right? So it's not it's dragon not a shadow. Oh, it's yeah. not it's a like shadow. A He's got like dragon it's, ghost wings yeah. when you step in the circle. Oh. Yeah, and then he has sort of like the Does he look the, cool or the pretty? horns, the dragon horns, oh, horns from the statue. Does he look cool or pretty? It just sort of like is, is an aura hey, that surrounds chair. him, right? So cool. Bye. Yeah, it looks pretty. It looks Did pretty I get cool. like a feeling when I saw it? Did I like. Was I scared? Was I impressed? Was I. 
Uh, you, you choose whether you wanted it to be scared or impressed. It, oh, it, 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 didn't, it didn't look like malevolent. It was just sort of like this, like, mm, like okay. majestic manifestation of. I'm thinking like you know in the show Supernatural when like the angels like. Sorry, I only watch shows in the eighties. <laughs> I'm a fan of You know, like when Knight uh, uh, Rider. Can you relate this Norway. to uh, <laughs> The Six Million Dollar Man, Man yeah. Battlestar Galactica, the original series, not that reboot, or um, Space 1999? Tom, remember when Morley Safer was. <laughs> Morley <laughs> See? I started. You remember? And Doctor Who, the Tom know. Baker years. I don't know what it is. All right. I don't think I enjoy so that. You thought it, you 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 felt mm -hmm. it was this sort of very impressive display okay. of. I'm like proud of him. Of power and. Uh, presence. I'm really self-conscious now. Everybody just talking. A display talking about... of, of presence rather than like a, a, a malevolent kind of okay. like oh I've taken over okay. a friend kind of thing. Proud of you. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. Very good. All right. So there is uh, one doorway that leads oh, out like that of this place, unless you want to go back the way that you came. No, I want to go. I want to go get. This is it. It's time. You know what? Yep. We should go back to the rat warrens <laughs> and just like take a second pass. That's very. See funny. if we miss anything. I, I understand that she's I, being sarcastic. I'd be on board with that, but if those goblins see us again, yeah. they will kill us. Or get or make us get married to them, mm -hmm. which could be worse. I am. Never mind. What? What are you gonna say? Definitely not already married. What? Uh oh. What happened to Neverwinter? Wait, what? I feel. It's a weird thing to that's do. A, that's out a weird character. Are you married? To your brother? No, that's ew. Weird. Gotta hurry. What about Dell? <laughs> <laughs> to my brother. <laughs> are you married? Maybe that's why she keeps saying he's not her brother. He's not my brother. He's the love of my life. <laughs> he's my husband. <laughs> da, da, da. Wait, are you married? What about Dale? Let's go. Why don't you just say, why are, Why all of a sudden are you ah, lying ah, about ah. No, look, if you're going to lie, you've been lying this a lot. You lie a lot, by the way. Whoa. It's kind of my thing. So, so, so why would you I would not love to get to down to the bottom of this, but I Do also not, don't want to be killed by goblins. It's, we are getting the skinny on love. I'd like to use my charisma bonus to defuse the situation. Ooh. There's no situation. Yeah, Ooh. 16 minus 1 is 15. Everything's great. Everybody, let's move on. This is a safe point. And let's just go. Thank you. It's not time to tell. It's not time. The fuck? <laughs> Wait, the are fuck? you guys married? It's not time. I've diffused it. I rolled Wait. a 15. Wait, are you're they diffu married? You're diffused. <laughs> I'm not diffused. You're diffused. It's a 15 on the table. A 15 wouldn't do it. You would need a 7. I roll to against your, your charisma. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, no, no. you died. The DC for me to being diffused is like 75. <laughs> Quote. Mac, look, we have to go. Thawne says it's okay. I'm, I'm losing okay. my bonus. Come on, let's go. Roll against his roll, Amy. <laughs> this, this is dragon aura. It doesn't last forever. R real impressive. You just said, I'm losing my bonus. Uh, like I said, what's wrong with that? Me too. God, we're talking too much. Yeah. Less cocky, uh, more stabby. Okay, so, so. Tippy, Tippy gives Vanna a resub bump. Tippy, thank you. Oh, Tom, son of a bitch. At some point, you and me to play some D and D, maybe. Just, uh, just you and me. You know, this is you know. not playing. We're revealing secrets about our characters. Uh, this it, is epic role playing. I feel and I'm like... having a fucking blast <laughs> for once in my fucking life. I've never known happiness. <laughs> Until the day um, you got married. Dom, do you think Luigi would like to play D&D? Because yes. I can name at least three players. Dom, you can't, you're not on screen. You're not on screen. Dice are, dogs, dogs, dogs are allergic to dice. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. <laughs> all right, I'm going to fucking mark this down. All right, promise me as soon as we get this Dell thing under control, we're going to talk about your marriage situation that obviously happened. Come on, you made him promise. Made, promise me. I sure did. For life. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just. I don't want to. Well, never mind, I know everything I need to know. Are you guys married? I diffused. I diffused. I just start walking. I walk through the door. This always works well for you. Yeah. Uh, 
Amy loves a secret. <laughs> <laughs> loves it. <laughs> the, the, I'm the best thing about you as a player is like you you love having <laughs> mysteries that you don't understand about your character, but you can't stand it if anybody else has a mystery. <laughs> it drives you fucking crazy. <laughs> wait, in what world? Wait, 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 no, 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 because this is uh, this is 100 how you would react. Wait, what? I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying it's a pattern. Okay. <laughs> like when, when I have my little DM notes, you're like. <laughs> is, is that, that really is happening? Is that really what happens? My little DM no. My little DM oh. no. <laughs> is Tack in here? I don't think so. You're free, free to look. Oh, that's a dog. There she that's is. That's a dog. Do you want do you want Tack to be a dog for a while? No. All right. Damn. <clears throat> Just put these near you. No one so else So the likes passageway. Them. Uh, I, love them. I don't like them. What? Grace. Nasty. You don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now that it's nine o'clock. <laughs> It's time to begin our game of Dungeons and Woo! Dragons. What? I made a check. We're Do good. the intro again. Oh, God. Uh, you continue through that door. The passageway goes straight ahead for about 30 feet. Uh, then it takes a right and leads to a set of stairs that go down. The air here is very dank and moist. You continue down, it goes down about 15 feet lower than whatever you are in, and there are, you can see kind of like roots passing through the uh, packed earth of this passageway, and also there's little cracks in the mortar of the walls and things like that where you can see water dripping down. <clears throat> Just, how's, my, how's my tree sense feeling? What? I don't, make an intelligence check. <clears throat> okay. <gasps> Ooh, I haven't gotten my dice up. <laughs> <laughs> Brag it up. <laughs> Just slam them on the table like Tom. I don't, mm. though. <clears throat> Guess what the good news is, Amy Vorpal? Yes. Uh, because Vitha in Shrouds Ooh. is currently the. See the young unseen? One. You have advantage on tap, this roll. I want to call it Tap the Weave. Mm, I think that's what it is. My... Ghost Ride the Weave! <gasps> oh! 20. Yeah. 20. Oh, 20. shit. But plus intelligence is 22. Okay, very good. So, uh, unless we do nature and then it's 24. So, having come to a greater understanding of, at least in some, some level, of what's going on, you try to connect with whatever this internal voice is, whatever force has given you these talents that are so far beyond the no a normal person's capability, right? <clears throat> and uh, you finally kind of open your mind to what's going on and you see just this web of roots kind of spread out all over, kind of th permeating through the Sunless Citadel. And you can see them all leading back towards they kind of curve around and they all lead back towards this one central maybe trunk thing or something like that. Or it's very weird. It's it's almost like the 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 root ball just sort of springs into existence, right? Um, and the other thing that you notice from this whole situation because I got a twenty. Because you got a twenty is you can see <laughs> that there are little tingly strands of root, and each one of them is touching one of the dragon statues that you have. <gasps> Thing. I do not tell people this. <laughs> I'm just, yeah, very good. What's wrong, Ty? Mm -hmm. Everything okay? This is the yeah. root ball in your and, pocket? And, and, and the root final ball? bit of information that you get is as you, you know, as, as that happens and you kind of like pay some attention, you know, direct your attention to your little thing, your little jade dragon statuettes, you can hear just this soft kind of strange slurred weeping and you recognize the voice, it sounds like maybe your sister, but it's distorted mm -hmm. somehow. Oh, shit, uh, No, I, I just, I got, a, I'm starting to feel, my tree sense is tingling. <laughs> Where does it tell us, tell you to go? No, I, I mean, I can just <clears throat> see it. I don't know if I can oh. manipulate it yet, but, I, I, yeah, I mean, it's not, not anything we don't know, that Dal, Dal is connected somehow and seems to be in trouble. Anyway, it, it does point like, the the root tree thing seems to be where Del Del like where we were going. Yeah, before. yeah, kind of. Okay. Yes. No, it, it seems like we're on the right path. I All think right. I can tap into it, which is really really cool. I can't wait to do it. 
Do it now. Do it now. Touch him. No, wait for it. No, can I mean, wait for oh, yeah. it. No, I'm gonna wait for it. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, um, anyway, my new best friends. Whoa. <laughs> uh, that's great. Uh, Listen, I, I, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what was that roll for? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you guys married now? Diffusing. <laughs> oh, we know how that works. Yeah, you just roll an 18. <laughs> With a charisma bonus. Hey, hey, In parts of the Deep South, you only have to roll a 14 or higher. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I can't believe you did this. <laughs> You can barely get it out. I can't <laughs> believe you've done this. <laughs> Moving on. All well, right. Let's continue down this. So you go. We're gonna you, get SWAT rated. You, you go. You go straight <laughs> about forty feet or so, uh, and then there's a set of stairs that climbs back up. <clears throat> oh, okay. What? So we went down some you stairs. Went down some stairs. You went. It looks like you went under something. You don't know what it it's was. It's like a subway system. Who What's knows? the roof? The roof. What's the ceiling look like? Uh, give me an intelligence investigation check. What's that? And I'll give you a D3 Rage. bonus on this. D3 bonus! Uh, that's a six. Add a D3. Oh, I just added three. It's, it's oh, a five. you rolled a three? <laughs> I rolled a five, yeah, you're negative not, two, you're not plus sure, two. You're not sure what the deal is here. Like. You're huh. Not, you're not sure. <laughs> What's the deal? Sure is a ceiling. I, I hate to tell you, but you're not sure why you went down and then why you came back up. What, what it would have routed I you. I bet around. it's an aquarium. Um, I'm distracted and, by my tree sense. And I, don't really I have care. to say, like, you're a little bit disoriented in terms of. It's dark down here. <laughs> um, the that weird shadow thing oh. tried to attack you. You've gone back and forth through the complex quite a bit, so it's, it's difficult to figure out like. Well, Wait, did it? It's seem, a maze. Did, did you say you? It's not quite a maze, but it's just it's it's a little uh, disorienting. Did you say you saw Tuck? I mean, uh, your de your sister Del? I heard her. Did it sound like she might have been in a different plane? Yeah, uh, or something. Maybe could have been. <clears throat> okay, I have a thing where I can detect the distance and direction of any planar portals within a thousand feet once per day. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a portal, planar warrior is my deal. Planar I'm all about, warrior. I'm all about portals. Okay. <laughs> I'd like I to thought do you just wanted to say hi to him. Okay, how does, <laughs> yeah. how, how does it's like, that, that's kind of sweet. How does that ability work? You just do it and- Yeah, as an action. You also sense which plane of existence each portal leads to. However, if any magic obscures any details of the portal, the feature does not reveal them. Mm -hmm. So if it's out in the open, I can okay. within a thousand feet. Sure. All right. So you concentrate on this newfound ability that you have, and you attempt to detect <clears throat> any sort of planar portal in the immediate vicinity, and you can detect within a thousand feet. In fact, you would say it's probably less than 500 feet away. Whoa. There is some type of portal that leads to what you would guess is, uh, now you obviously haven't traveled there, but you believe it's the astral plane. Oh yeah. The astral plane. <laughs> and, I, and I know it's within 500 feet, I can, be like in a certain direction that I know of? It looks it looks to you like you go up these stairs and hang a right and it's at the end of that hallway about oh, okay. about uh, yeah. 120 feet away. Well, I'm gonna get up and... Is that where I think Del is or? Oh yeah, is that? I, well, I mean, the way I heard Del, there was, there's a there's a big conjoining of roots right around here. Like if we go, you know, here, and there it is. Right there, here. right? It's true. Oh, well, shite. Well, let's let's go. Let's double time. What's let's that get, mean? Let's get in there. What's it mean? It means that someone could be putting her in a portal or trying to close or something. Holding or holding her there. Yeah, I don't. Uh, we don't know. We have to go. Okay. <clears throat> Very good. But so, we're ready for this. You continue. But we're ready. Down <laughs> the <we're> passageway. <laughs> we get an advantage because we're ready. I'm, so, I'm such a bad player. It's such what? A, whatever you whatever you're doing, huh? You know? <laughs> No one like, takes us by surprise. Just, just We're very so aware. We, we got this. 
We win. There's definitely a portal in there. Mm. Oh, also, I can just travel to that portal is a thing I can do. All right. Ah, uh, we got this. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I'll just put the book away. Uh, so you go about 120 feet or so, like okay. I said. Mm -hmm. And, and before... You, the, the passageway opens up. It looks like it's been excavated, right? So you've been traveling down some sort of natural, or not natural, but artificially created kind of uh, mortar, cinder block type of thing. Mm -hmm. And then it gets excavated out, gets bigger, gets about 30 feet across, right? Okay. <clears throat> and you see a small, really looks fairly like ramshackle hut that's in the middle of this small chamber or I don't know if you want to call it a clearing. I don't know. It's more, more of a chamber, right? Uh, but this, this cavern has been excavated out and in the middle there's this small wooden hut. It, it's sturdy, you know, it's not falling apart or Does anything it look like that. Made? <clears throat> Perhaps goblin made? Perhaps goblin made. It, for whatever reason, it has a roof on it. Huh. it um, Does it, it has a, a dirty windows on on three of the walls, <clears throat> and it has a simple door out front. Who could live down here? It's a trap. This could be what what we think Mergella is kept. If it's not in the same plane, what it what is kind of, it in the space where he thought the plane plane, plane portal? Was? I think well, you can't really pinpoint it. You think the portal might be beyond this thing? Yeah, that was like five hundred ish right? feet. This is only hundred. And you said something. there's windows. Yeah. Go take a peek, Avril. <clears throat> like if you were to think of, uh, just picture a small hunting shack, okay. right? It's that sort of. Can I uh, try to sneak up to a window and peek inside? Like a deer blind? Sure. You are at minus D3 on sneaking. I'll use my Aaron inspiration. Mocks. Okay, very good. <clears throat> Let me get another D20. We all have inspiration? We have inspiration, yeah. inspiration yes. This I like coin to roll separate. Good thing. <laughs> Nat oh, 20. Oh, yeah. Mm. All right, very good. Oh, plus. Plus whatever your skill. <laughs> plus like crazy. <clears throat> Stealth? Yeah. So plus eight to that. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> great. So you get a 26. Mm -hmm. Sure, so it's, it's fairly dark here. Uh, oh. You gaze inside and you see that it has a dirt floor. There are rough wooden shelves filled with a scattering of tomes and scrolls which line the north and east walls. And there's a rough hewn desk which stands in the middle of this structure. As you look up, you can see that there's fungus hanging from the rafters, which provides apparently sufficient quantity of light to read by. Uh, and then you notice in the back, you know, as you're sneaking up to the to the to this shack, in the back. There's sort of a small garden area, but the very far end of the garden is dominated by this uh, very thick, very well, this very thick and very dense stand of white maple trees. Like they almost look like birch trees when you first look at them. They don't have any leaves, but then you're kind of like, no, nah, I think I think those are maple trees. Ah, I'm not sure. You don't get a great look at them from looking at the shack, but you can tell clearly there's a, like some shelves in this shack and there's a desk. There's some sort of fungus hanging from the ceiling that provides light. <laughs> and then behind the shack, there's a garden and at the garden sort of narrows at the very far end where it narrows, there's a thick stand of trees back there. And I don't see any people, any, anything, you, anybody inside. You don't see anyone right now. Hmm. I don't think anyone's in here. Well, should we go in or should we just, keep, I mean, there's another exit in this room, right? That we didn't come in through? Did this is what, this a, wasn't a dead end, right? Did you no, see you, you, Well, it's, it's the same, I mean, <laughs> unless, unless, unless the trees are hiding something, you don't see another exit, right? Oh, so this so just like ends the, here. The, the passageway goes straight, oh. it opens up in the middle, there's this shack with these, weird books or whatever inside. <clears throat> and then around the back of the shack is a garden area where clearly like various types of fungi and whatnot have been grown. But as it narrows in the very back, there's this prominent stand of weird white trees that don't have any leaves on them. 
Right. I'm going to... That are very, like... It almost, like... If you were to take a look at it, and let's just assume for argument's sake that, I was gonna that you're going to do that, uh, at first glance, you'd be like, oh, that's some sort of structure. Like, the trees are so close together that you're like, oh, they must be nailed together. But then you go and you look, and you just realize that they're only growing inches apart. What? A, I, that's not how I'm trees gonna, work. I'm right. going to tap, tap it. Like, and then as you look up, you notice that the, the branches, and you can definitely identify them as maple trees, but they have, they're all white. Right? And as you look up, you can see that the branches all intertwine, kind of like wrap around each other's trunks and wrap into the other branches and things like that. I'm gonna see. Does this does this wood look like anything uh, that my parents have made toys from? Mm. Uh, that's a good question. This particular wood. Uh, it does look like something that's been harvested and given to you. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I, I you, your been... parents refer to it as white maple. Okay. Is that the magic stick? Wood. Do you feel anything when you go near it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I never put my hand on it. Uh, give me another intelligence Ooh. check. Oh, okay. That was scared. I know, I know, we <laughs> do. <laughs> give me a dexterity save. <laughs> uh, pretty good, 18. Ooh. 18. All right. <clears throat> so, um, you put your hand on it, and the, the, the one thing that stands out to you is you kind of, you close your eyes for a moment and you can tell that this is where that root ball is coming out and like, oh. and, and all the roots go out into the world, right? It's coming from beyond the stand of trees. Whatever it is, you can't really tell, right? Like up into the ceiling, like? No, like directly, like straight at you. It's right. it's a physical thing, or only she can see. Only it. she can see it. So right. this is the root ball. Yeah. Like these trees are the root ball. Well, but it's root like, <laughs> it's, it's essentially what it is 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 these roots must be coming through whatever portal he detected, oh, no. right? <gasps> and you can tell that that the the roots aren't necessarily physical. They're they're maybe astral or immaterial or whatever you want to uh, consider it, right? This. Yeah. Uh, Hi, Fusser. You gonna lay down? You keep sniffing Amy's purse. <laughs> There's nothing in it. You Ooh, silly dog. Sorry, oh. dog. <gasps> um, okay. so, so that's one thing that you can tell. The other thing is when you kind of, you know, focus your mind's eye, as it were, on this whole situation, then as just as you're opening them, kind of coming back to the real world to tell them what you've detected, just for a moment, you see, <laughs> you see a, a, a little bird kind of like hop from, from branch to branch and go deeper into the... Uh, and it's cute. Uh, <laughs> it's about yay big. It, it, is, uh, it, is, it has a black streak down its back. Its body is white, but it has a red um, you know, patch on its chest. It has a big triangular it, beak. I there's a, oh, there's a bird going through there. This is where, this is where your <laughs> portal is, I think. He's like, I don't want to hang out with Irving. Screw that guy. <laughs> totally. Well, it was buzzkill. Mm -hmm. It was in this direction, but I don't think it. Uh, uh, I don't sense. Can I, think I push I my way? We have, we have to get through here. I saw a bird go deeper. Can I push my way into this, in into between these trees? <clears throat> How do you want to attempt to do that? Because they're literally like inches apart. I'm gonna... Strength. Okay. Yeah. Break all, all right. of them. Very good. Uh, I'm gonna use my inspiration. Oh no. Okay. Like, right. Wait, I want to say if I if I start feeling pain, I might have I might ask you to stop. Two twelves, not bad. So um, you're you're all at this thing, is that correct? The backyard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the trees. Essentially, is this athletics? Sure, I'll give you a strength athletics. Check. Okay, seventeen. Seventeen. All right. So you push two of the trees apart, and they do kind of like bend a little bit, right? Um, but uh, at the point at which one of them begins to crack, you hear this like loud crack, and suddenly there is this wave of energy which uh, bursts forth from the interior of the grove, and it just washes over all of you. Everybody give me a saving throw, please. A dexterity saving throw. Mm -hmm. The DC is 12. 
16. Damn. Oh, Ooh, shit. Dirty 20. I did not make it. Okay. I didn't either. Two most dexterous people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. All right. We weren't Wait, expecting the... the threes to do anything. Is, what, don't you think this is like a call into shadow kind of situation? <laughs> <laughs> That's good Invo for us. Invoking the elders. Ah, 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 ah. No. All right, so who failed? The two most desperate. <laughs> All right, so yeah. those of you who failed. Holy crap. Uh, let's see, that's 15, 27 points of damage. <laughs> I'm dead. 27 points of psychic damage. You're unconscious. Um, I'm immune to psychic damage. Uh, and uh, now you're, then now everybody you're else takes half damage, so that's uh, 13. 13. Enjoy 13, 13. damage. I'm dead. LOL, okay. bye. All right. That was fun, everyone. We, we die good. in each other's arms. We're, we're both at zero, yes, though. <laughs> oh, what? Yeah, the, your others just took 13? Yeah. yeah, they took 13. Yeah, they took 13, yes. 27 and 13. Shit, dick. Fucking Grayson. Grayson, what's in those trees? Oh, oh my god. Oh, no. Grayson's sorry. like, I'm, but I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to use my inspiration. I'm going to make sure that this happens. Yeah, it, probably, it was probably going to be. But even look in the fun cabin first before we let shit happen. You're like, there's, it's behind that tree. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> my head hurts. You should have said bottle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, what? and so it feels like, honestly, like when this happens, it feels like you feel like roots kind of burrowing into your head and like, you know, oh my god, get out of my cracking head, your skull. And Do I like just, it? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you like it, but you're able to better resist it than most of your compatriots. I don't know are. if you the like it, but you don't right? hate it, sweetie. You're unconscious, right? <laughs> I assume yeah, I that you guys but are going to stabilize. Them. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna lay on hands. Leave. Give you both. Uh, we'll call it five apiece. Okay. Okay. How's that feel? Sounds you, great. We're you, at five, you, you Dom. You were at your full abilities because we unlocked a long rest last session, so you were able to. Do you want more? Because I got the more pause. to give. Let's see if we can short rest now. Can we? Well, we have. We unlocked it. We took uh, a sad our tree. Our short now. rest is unlocked. Yes. Yeah. So we can up what some it, hit die. Yeah. I'm like just one. I'm so. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Ooh. Wait. Do you get lay on hands back after short rest? I mean, I I have it. Uh, I don't get it back. I get. But I, I can I have a number of points and I can spend them how however I want. Right. So I don't get the points I just spent on you guys back, but I still have points left. Well, maybe save them then. Yeah. But let's short rest so we can hit die. Oh my god. Right? Yeah. We just like wake up and we're like, oh my god, we need to na we need to lay down. <laughs> yeah, let's just what happened? Yeah, happened? I'm so sorry. We're drunk on um, power. Okay, yeah. so you're gonna burn your short rest. I yes. would like to, if that's yeah. okay. Yeah, I only have that's five hit points. And we can use as many hit dice as we want. Uh, up to three, yes. Up to three. What does and that you mean? Your, you get your con So bonus. we have. Uh, I just have. You you have equal to your level. Yeah. So oh. you should have three. Okay, yeah. add eight back for me, Dom. So I'm I'm at twenty four now. I'm gonna spend all three. Does that include your con? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I rolled a six. Oh, okay. six plus two. Seventeen. Oh, that's ten. Oh, yeah, I won't. Need I'm anything. at full, Dom. Oh, maybe I will. <laughs> You're at full? 14. I'm at full. She spent all her hit die. Oh. Oh, oh my. So I'm at 19. Uh, let me spend my hit die first. Damn. So. Uh, so that is 23. I'm at 23, Don. Five. Dang. That was two bad rolls on my part. You rolled three? Ten. I rolled 117. Oh, damn. Yikes. I'm at 28. Can I give you my bonus once? My Aww. rollover? No. You could have bumped those die rolls. You've got, you, you can actually. Oh, I didn't think I would need to roll yeah. 3d8 and bump them, you know. I probably <laughs> I need the bumps for something else. We're doing a bad job. Put those dice away. Don't use them again. That's all I have. <laughs> you want some of these? No, I like these. I trust Where my They're mean to you. I'm 28 now. Years old. No, I'm 32 years old. I'm 32. <gasps> <gasps> Am I the youngest? Oh, yeah. You You're probably are. 18. <laughs> uh-huh. How old are you? How old are you? 31. You are? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you're young. I'm one year younger <laughs> than you. When you get to be our age. <laughs> I'm the same age as Morley Safer. God damn it. Uh, All right. So a million. <laughs> so you guys uh, you guys burn your short rest. I mean, that doesn't take. Quit saying burn. It doesn't take long. I mean, we did. You completely waste you your short rest. You, you spend. You're full 
Let's just say it, 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 it kind of goes by in like 10 minutes or whatever. That did not feel good. Grayson. That, that felt terrible. What I'm the hell? I don't know. You need to talk to us about before you do shit like that. It's Going off the handle is my thing. It's not your thing. <laughs> It works out for me. It never works out for you. <laughs> Wait, but before we start, you know, laying into Greece and like he probably deserves, we we probably need to talk about what happened. Like that, I knew that that's where these this tree sense energy is coming from, and you knew that's where the portal was. So something is behind there that we need to get to. But what? How about this? What if there's a secret door in the house? Like we move a rug, and there's like a secret underground passage and it goes underneath the trees. I'm just I think that's it's, like it's worth helpful. trying. Or we pull all the books out, you I know, like done enough damage. Yeah, uh, exactly. <laughs> oh, wow. 27 points too much. <laughs> Ooh, well, uh, did the air conditioning come on or is it just cold in here? So much for best friends. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I'm just mad right now. You didn't even get killed. <laughs> <laughs> Unconsciousified. Yeah. No, that's yeah. true. That's true. I didn't. I don't really have as much to be mad at. You better eat your snacks. All right. Your shame yeah, snacks. Yeah, let's go into the, let's go into yeah. the mud room. Let's go inside. Let me check for traps yeah. first. Okay, yeah, you go first. I'm going to stand really far away. Okay. Uh, what role is uh, investigation? I think it's... Well, dark. here's the thing. Uh -oh. uh, Aaron Mox is enter or escape, right? Um... Mm. Yes, this is enter. Uh, I'll give you a, a, a D3 bonus for discern. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, okay, but which role? Investigation? Or? Uh, to detect them is usually... Perception? Perception. Oh, perfect. Okay. I'm gonna... Wait, you gave me advantage or a plus three? A plus d3. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna give you two of these. Oh, two of these. Yeah. Very good. Two two bumps. Bumps. Two I don't want to spend them all in one... Oh, where'd my little orange guy go? Hello. Okay, ooh, 15, 16, 17, uh, I don't know. 18, 19. 18, 19. I think, I think Chad is the uploading something again because we just lost everything in the stream just went down. <laughs> what does that mean? They're We're uploading, uploading something. Oh, Chad, not Chad. Chad. Oh, I heard Chad. Who's Chad? He's uh, uh, the landlord who also works behind us. And why, do, why does when he upload things? Um, streaming up is an uploading process. Probably chokes the bandwidth. Oh, I see. Like a lot of internet service providers give you like a shit ton of download mm -hmm. and then very like very low down or very low oh, upload. Okay, well then, whatever. Oh well, I'm uploading. I'm uploading more everything. pictures of my dog. Now's the time to get more snacks. We may need them. I'm uploading. I'm uploading. <laughs> I didn't even look at We're you. Back. Oh no! no. I'm done. Eric, oh. can I have a can I have a, 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 a fruit snacks? Fruit snacks. That sounds good. All right. Oh. I'd like a fruit snack. Will you bring a, a fistful of the chocolate Thank stuff you. over here? Wow. This is uh, tough. So you it's got a one. total of what? Yeah. When we last left our intrepid heroes, oh, Havana. 15, 16, 17, 19. Nineteen altogether. Okay, nineteen altogether. Yeah. So, uh, what you can tell uh, during a close inspection is that the handle of the shed, the handle that op opens onto the shed, is cov is covered with a very light coating oh my God, of I'm a so glad near I invisible type some sort of oil or tar or something like that, but you are almost certain that it's a type of poison. I immediately oh. grab it. No, no. <laughs> I've got this. Well. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. It's poison. Ew. Well, that's um. What? Ew. No, like, ah, not ew. Should we burn ah. it? And scream at the poison. What if we inhale it? What if, we'll just wipe it off. Well, someone has a glove. I don't you aren't you wearing gloves? I think I have gloves on. Do I have gloves on? Oh, but this is probably like the poison that goes through gloves. That's my guess. I mean, oh yeah, probably. I can't be diseased. Oh, but you know. mage hand. Kick the door down. Mage hand. Didn't someone have mage hand? Do I have mage hand? I don't think so. You want so. me to try and kick the door down? Mm-hmm. All right, I'll kick. Don't the... touch the handle, Grayson. All right, let me kick a door. All, All right. right, give me another athletics check. Two bumps. Two bumps. Uh. Uh, 14. 
14. All right, well, uh, this door is not particularly sturdy, as I described it. Uh, so, yeah, you kick it in. It... Uh, oh, my God. It, it, it comes off yeah. of its hinges and kind of collapses. Oh, shit. Boom! Oh, shit. This is very important. Really good. I'll clear. I'll clear the room. See, I work out. See, Grayson. Redeem. That's you how it works when we work together and we make a plan. Inside. Nobody's inside. All clear. Well, anyone want to perceive? <laughs> sure. <laughs> All right, I'll walk through. He can give me swarm. A swarm. Okay. I kick in the door and immediately like come in ready. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're ready. Okay. Well, at, uh, as I explained. But we're ready. But we're ready. We got this, Tom. Oh, okay. okay. You've got it. Great. Perfect. <laughs> so. Uh, as I explained, there is. Would you like me to read it back to you? Shelves <laughs> that have scrolls and books on them. There's a desk in the center of the room. Uh, what does the desk have on it? Please, please, sir. Uh, the the desk. Uh, when you look at it, it looks like the desk. It has a a book on it that has. It's a, it's a very detailed journal, but when you, when you go to examine the contents of the journal, you realize that it's a lot of figures about seasonal growth, precipitation, mm. harvests uh, in and around Oakhurst and the Neverwinter Wood. Uh, it's, it's a lot of agricultural notes that have been I show kept. It for the surrounding lands for the last dozen years or so. Oh, dozen that's, years. That's that's what's open on the desk. Uh, Does the handwriting look consistent? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's very definitely like a, 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 some sort of I'm gonna keep farmer's it. almanac almost kind of thing, except instead of predicting what you know the weather will be and what the crops will be, it's, it's, a, it's a record of what it's been. I'm gonna uh, keep it. You, if you if you flip through it, you note that there are some entries in terms of like what it's projected the phase of the moon to be, uh, and then some sort of like penciled in. There's 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 column guesses for like well there should be about this much rain this week, etc. 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 So it looks like there's actually s some um, wait some minor amount of weather forecasting that's incorporated into this this almanac or this journal. I want to tap into my tree sense again and see if I can see Del through it. Okay. All right. I'm going to give me another intelligence check with advantage. <laughs> <gasps> well, that's nat 20. What the fuck? Double. Double what the fuck? <laughs> Jesus, Amy. I guess I'll just go home. God, did yeah. Guys, did you guys order a badass because she uh, she's here? <laughs> That All was right, anticlimactic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> could have gone better. So you realize that the last time that you sensed Dell was when you had sort of made contact with the jade dragon statues that you carry on you, right? So uh, you, you know, kind of close down your senses to the material world, and you open your third eye and try and gaze into the psychic plane, and you focus your attention on the jade dragon statues that you have on you and you reach out with your mind to wherever Dell might be and you try and locate her, right? And for starters, you see just like this huge rush of like roots and tendrils coming out of that weird maple stand, like directly towards you and they're brushing over your face, right? And they're mm -hmm. touching you. Um, and they reach into your coat pockets and as you guys are kind of like looking over at the book and paging through it and whatnot, uh, you turn and you see Tack kind of like just standing like this, and all of a sudden her clothing kind of like begins to like, like rustle and float, and all of your jade dragon statuettes fly up and kind of like have this like weird kind of almost like hummingbird kind of like, and then you just hear the sound of glass breaking as they shoot right through the window and go off into that. Oh, they go away. Woods. Yeah, they, they like. Shit. Into the trees? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no. Shit, what was, dog. What was that? Wait, am I still in it? And then, and then you, you just, you just hear, um, you hear this like, almost kind of a strange like whistle.
and then disappears. What disappears? The sound, and then you're back. <laughs> in the know what sounds world. do? They do. Yeah, sometimes. <sighs> in the fantasy world. Sorry, guys. <laughs> what was that? Did you have it's my time of the month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was trying to get in touch with Dale, and and it's like they the dragons were connected, the, and the tendrils were touching me, and 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 uh, they pulled, they like physically pulled. I mean, you know, it sounds crazy, but the roots that were like a celestial type of root, pulling the dragons from my pack and into that forest. I well, mean, we saw them. That really happened. Yeah, okay? it sounds crazy, yeah. but we saw. We, we saw them fly out. Okay, well, that, that is what happened. But, Grayson's going to go to but a But then I, there was a whistle, and I think it was, like, calling for something. That's the bird song. Mm. I don't, I mean, Bellic. I don't, Not me. Bellic sings the bird song. We know uh, that. Uh, not right. me, though. I'm going to use my divine sense as an action. I can, I, I open myself up to an awareness uh, to detect such forces uh, until the end of the, my next turn. Uh, I know the location of any celestial fiend or undead within 60 feet. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Um, interesting. I just want to see how there's something. It, so, so you you do you do this, uh, and you do not detect within within sixty feet. You do not detect any sort of celestial, divine type of presence. Uh, but you get. A strange, almost like blend of fiendish undead from that stand of trees. Okay. Right? Also, Estel Castillo gives everybody two bumps. Oh, wow. Wow. Thank you, Estel Thank Castillo. You. Which translates to six bumps for me. Wait, when are you fucking You're done. When am I cut You're off? Not it's a cut great off, question, bartender. Dom. When am I cut off? Thank you. Come on, bartender. Twelve Come on. more dollars. Cut him off. He's had enough. Bartender. <laughs> Go home, sir. You're drunk. Oh. Well, I think it's obviously it's obviously what we need to do. It's Who's obvious what we need to do. We need, to, we need to. We need to. No, that didn't work very well, did it? That I was just trying to open them. They're mm. they're evil. You can't open trees. They're I, fucking trees. I didn't. Yeah, that's Not why doors. we need to burn them because they're evil. Well, shouldn't we go take a look and see what happened to those dragon thingies? I'm gonna do Maybe. a quick search of the room just to make sure there's not an alternative exit. That's a good idea. Okay. So I'm, I do that. Uh, give me. Uh, well, so what what part of the room are you searching here? So. Um, let me, I'm thinking let me just reiterate like, the description. I'm thinking like book, the <laughs> shelves. Cooper. You know, I'm thinking like uh, you know if there was a book that did a um, you know triggered a trap or I'm gonna yank on any sconces right. that are around. How I learned to relax Roughly. and open the portal. So it's a dirt floor. So is there a carpet though? <laughs> There's a rug that really brings the room together. A uh, there is a carpet. I look uh, under there for sure. The uh, oh, you, look at the dog. you look underneath there. Uh, it looks like it's just dirt underneath there. Rats. There's no rats either. No, it burns. Uh, so, rough wooden shelves <laughs> contain a scattering of tomes and scrolls, which line the north and east walls. And there's a rough-hewn desk in the center of the chamber, and there's these clumps of fungus hanging in the ceiling that shed this weird kind of... Uh, Purplish light. Uh, can I just inspect um, all the the items on the shelves? Sure. <clears throat> Give me a perception check, please. Okay, I'm gonna. How many bumps do I have left? Five, three. I'm gonna give this two bumps. Two bumps. Two beeps. Hey you. Hey you. Oh, sorry. That's, a, uh, that's, that's perfect. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. Eighteen, twenty, and twenty-one. 18, 20, 21. 21 total. Very good. <laughs> All right. So, uh... I fucking nail looking at those scrolls. There's... <laughs> I kill it. Got him. You, you notice a, a couple things. So, you get to one portion of the... There's all of these scrolls kind of, like, lined up, right? And then you notice that one... Ah! <laughs> it's just ear flaps. Hi. Come on, buddy. Demon ear flaps. Hi. They go, oh. <laughs> Just go around and get pets from everybody. All it's right. My arm rests now. So there's <laughs> one section that that 
contains a couple of spell scrolls. There's a scroll of Scorching Ray, and there's a spell scroll of Melf's Acid Arrow. Whoa! So that's that's going on. Uh, Scorching so, Ray and mm. Melf's Acid Arrow. Oh, Melf. Ah, well. Uh, James V guides the hands of fate. Yes, Yay. thank you. Oh, nice. And nice. the cafe. <laughs> Which cuts me off. Yay. Yay. Thank you, James. Thank you, James. That's our James. And then Littlest Finger gives the table two bumps. Oh, oh shit. Oh. But that's after you're already cut off. So Super Fumble is unlocked. Yes. And, yes, I'm, yes. I'm, and I'm cut off. Yes. Uh huh. So uh, two bumps. Are you mad about that? Oh, good. <laughs> Uh, I'm looking at my stuff. stack of uh, <laughs> 21 bumps, bump. and I'm not feeling 21 bad. Bump Street. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> There's two for you. You've seen that one. There's two for you. You're it's old enough. You're right? my best friend. You're my best friend that <laughs> yeah. I've ever I'll had. Send that on Amy. I enjoyed that television series starring Johnny Depp very oh. much. I think that young man has prospects. Richard Rico. Richard Rico. Turns out he beats his girlfriend, so no, he doesn't. <laughs> it's only true if his managers say it's true. I mean, whatever she says. Don't believe I mean, the woman. Never yeah. believe the woman. No. Jeez. No. All right. They're liars. She's doing it for the money, no. despite the millions of dollars she has personally. <laughs> All right. We we, we also me. unlock theater of the table where where I where we start using the the grid. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah. Or <gasps> Luigi gets on the table and you. <gasps> have to play using him as a grid. Yeah. <laughs> Theater of the table, Luigi stands on the table and looks awkward the entire time. Each, each rib <laughs> is five feet. <laughs> it's just him. All right, He's who so would cute. like to draw so the scared. ascending lord, please? Who Gosh, like not. Rob didn't get to do Eric. anything last time. Rob, you're it. No, wait, who didn't get to do it? I did it. I'm, I'm, I'm the, I'm the um, Advantage. secretary. Describe. All right, Xerix Validium, search, reason, decipher a lesson. Oh, that yeah. may come in handy. Who would like to draw the the dominant lord for the next hour? Eric. 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 I'm normally the bad one. Yeah, Get that track hunt. That's what I need. Track hunt. What, 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 what are you what? saying? What are you saying? What, what are you saying? Track, track hunt. hunt. Oh. Track hunt. <laughs> yeah, the, I did sound uh, like it. You were so upset. And I was like, why? Oh, uh, so this is nice. it's uh, nice. Vitra in shrouds. Uh, Vitra see, in shrouds. See the unseen, oh, tap the weave, mm. call into shadow. Right. Yeah, we had that back, in advantage, back and we had advantage. it back in advantage. Who's Ride distant? The weave. Who's the distant lord? Oh, I'm going to pull Had my own card. Yes. What no. is your card? Oh, the hide one? Sneaky stuff. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, wow. what? Arun Mox, so we really it, only changed it. one of them. Wow. Xerix Validium. Yeah, that's really sneaky. That's all right. It's killing not bad for you. Not necessarily bad for you. That talk gets around like it's no big, no problem. But I feel like in, in that, if I was in that body, I would be I flying. Would be, right, I'd be flying around. No, I, I'd be <coughs> awkward. I would be like, I don't know where to put. He, my he feet. has slipped several times. Hey, hey, go lay down. Mm -hmm. No. There Does you he go. listen to you? Yeah, he knows that. Is he a good boy? It's like the one thing that he knows. Dogs can know hey. like a thousand words. Hey, lay down. Don't yell at us. <laughs> <laughs> we were on your side about dogs. Good yeah. boy. What a good boy. He's like, now nah, run with me. Who's a right next good time. boy? All right. So that all happened. Son of a bitch. Um, Son of a bitch. I didn't bring my. I didn't bring my dungeon tile, so we'll probably have to. We're gonna shift in a minute. All right. Some shit's gotta go down first. Mm, that's possibly true. All right. The, you find some more stuff though before we before we. Round out our little tour of the uh, of Bellex oh, study yeah. here. You uh, find. A small journal of notes. <laughs> that. <laughs> Good catch. Oops. Oops. I said Bellex study, right? Study. Yeah. yeah. We didn't know it was his study. I mean, we assumed because he, he knew that he knew yeah, the study that was coming. Because because Gigi told us where it was. Oh yeah, <laughs> this isn't a study. It's a delightful cabin. His name's Gingy. His name's There's Gigi. That. Gingy. All right. It's me, Gigi. Like my small hat. So you find uh, a small Gigi. journal of notes uh, that appears to be written in Draconic. <gasps> Pass. And what? Then, uh, Pass. So what did I write? Jarnal. <laughs> <laughs> journal. I wrote journal with an A. 
Uh, I don't know. Um, and then at the at the at the back of the room, there is there's like a, a potted plant, a big potted plant that's that's sitting there. But it looks like it's actually sitting on top of a book. And you look at it, and you're like, suspicious, I say. You just look at it, and you're like. That book, like given where it is, and like it's on top of a plant, and like I, if I look at it and I go, something like that, who it puts be, a plant on a book? Right, it should be really dirty. Like it should have like mold in it and all that yeah. kind of stuff. It looks like it was just kind of shoved under there to, you know, provide a stable platform because the floor is kind of uneven so that the pot wouldn't wouldn't fall over. But you're looking at it and you're like, that book seems like like it, like it's just not in bad shape, right? Uh, you pull it out and. It it is uh, on 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 the cover in fine 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 beautiful cursive script. It says Haliver's field field guide to notable birds of the greater Sword Coast and environs. Ooh. Haliver's field guide to notable birds of the greater Sword Coast and environs. Okay, I open it and I try to find the red chested bird. Oh, very good. Uh, Is that the one that I saw in the woods? Yeah. Okay. You described it to her. Okay. Sure. I was there. Wow. So oh, wait. I was dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's true. No, so give it me was an, just before you Give died. me... Uh, it was the me. last thing I saw before I died. It's burned into my mind. Uh, th th this just screams for an intelligence investigation check, so please give me... Oh, you screams son of for a bitch. It. it screams for Sorry it. Sorry about that. Okay, but maybe this is like a see the unseen kind of. So, oh, s search reason, decipher reason. a bird. Sure, I'll give you a <gasps> decipher on that. Decipher a bird. This is the first time me asking you some for something absurd <laughs> worked. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. I caught myself, and in, in my in you my. You cut yourself? Mm -hmm. No, caught myself. Oh. Roll it up. Kid. Okay, Kid. so this means I get advantage, right? No, you get D three. No, it's the top one. That's advantage, right? Nope. No, it's no. the D3 box. That's the Son D3. of a dick. Okay. and Shrouds is the top one. You're not trying to see the unseen. You're searching through the book for that particular entry. Oh, I just had them out of order. Mm -hmm. I have it at the top one. I Very just good. got confused. Here's a couple of bumps for you, sir. Thank you. Bump, bump, bump it up. Bump, 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 bump. Oh, 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 I get a reroll. Half a year on a natural one. Yes. <laughs> yes. As I want to do. Do it again, do it I'm again. switch this. Roll another one. <laughs> It'll be really funny. Double ones. And that little bit of chocolate got in the way. Yeah. 14, 15, 16, 17, uh, plus, minus two. Yeah. <laughs> but so plus 15. two bumps, so. So it evens out, so it it's 17. 17, great. Cool, I did yeah. it. Bum, 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 so bum, 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 bum. Bum, you bum, notice a couple bum, bum, bum. things here, right? Uh, you do like, you do flip through the book. As you're flipping through the book, it's clear that this book is is imbued with some sort of magic because it, it keeps itself clean. Obviously, that's the thing that caught your attention, right? Is what great condition that it's in, how well preserved it is. What caught my attention is who puts a fucking book under a plant? No one oh, does that. Books are good to put under lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Like other books. Example. <laughs> Go, yeah. What do you put your What do you put your books under? Like, you know, coffee mugs, papers, other books, mm -hmm. uh, your computer, large dogs. <laughs> yeah. T tea kettle. You slip a book under a dog. Yeah. They're just kind of there. Absorb this information <laughs> through your hot, hot fur. All right. So you notice it's in remarkably good condition. The other thing that you notice as you go through it, as you flip from entry to entry to entry, uh, that the it, Harry Potter style, the oh, illustrations yes. of the birds are animated, oh. right? So you can see, like, you know, the, 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 oh. the male will come and land on a branch, and then the female will Fuck come and land female. next to him, <laughs> and things like that. Uh, and the this other porn, thing is, porn bird book? As, as you're flipping through, every once in a while you accidentally sort of like like oh graze God. one of the illustrations, you touch it, and when you touch it, that the bird on that page gives its bird call. Oh! Oh, I cannot stop. I'm just like... <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm making a sick beat. <laughs> so you flip and get to uh, what this book is so an big. entry <laughs> that resembles the bird that she described. Okay. And it is labeled the rose-breasted grosbeak. What does it say about it? 
Uh, it just gives some general information about its habitat. Uh, you know, it's found often found in the woods, etc., etc., etc. All of this seems like fairly standard. Not a uh, cave bird. It's not a cave bird. Definitely not a cave bird. No, it's suspicious. It's, it's but bird. one thing in that in one thing that is oh. called out in the uh, in the entry that is specifically called out is that it says the rose-breasted grosbeak is notable for its beautiful call. I mean, I touch it. Which many consider to be the one of the more beautiful songs of of any songbird found in the in the realms. That's the everybody, everybody, no, wait. shut up! It says to beware the bird song. My mom said that. Don't do it. Oh shit! You, I have to <laughs> touch the bird by the tree. Never say don't do it. Uh, but my mom said to beware. Oh, don't bring parents into it. That's even worse. <laughs> Uh, you touch it, and you hear, you all hear this. It's really good. It's really good. I can't whistle. I hate you. You hate me? No, I hate him. <laughs> That's right. Amy can't whistle. Um, I can't either. <laughs> Wait, she can whistle. But it sounds exactly like the song that you heard in your mind when your, dragon, when your dragons flew away, right? Oh, shit. Nothing yeah. happens, though? Try it outside by the trees. Yeah, by the trees. Oh my fucking god. Okay. Is it past? Wait, is there any gold? <laughs> I don't believe so. What about we get loot jewelry? Off that shadow thing? There's not any gold or jewelry in this place. Uh, what's the I plant mean, look like? I mean, the curious thing about this place is it doesn't <laughs> even have like a bed or. Mm. <laughs> what? Why is this in the adventure? <laughs> um, <laughs> so there's there's no bed. There's not even in there really like a rocking chair. All right, or I've had about enough of all of this. Yeah, please stop. <laughs> please stop. And <sighs> and see. <clears throat> all right. Thank you. So so there's nothing else in this. <laughs> Which is Wait, let friends. me. <gasps> you look straight ahead. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. I think we just breezed past a very important piece of information. Which is? Drayton and I just became best friends. He likes uh, when I piss you off. <laughs> Wait, that's conflicting with what you've previously established as canon. I take that whole What would you like to do? I don't know why that's funny. <laughs> <clears throat> a I take finale, the plant. you say? <laughs> I take that plant. I yank it out. <laughs> You take the plant? I, yeah, I turn oh it upside down and pour it out. Give me the book. Okay. I kick it over. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, let's. No, let's. It's just dirt. There's nothing inside there. It's just like dirt and roots. What did you roll for there? Look, that bird. Go your house. No, that, Bellic? that rose gross one. The rose gross. Rose breasted gross beef. Okay, I'm going to hold it up by the trees and I'm going to turn my head this way and then I'm going to go. Okay, it plays the song. You turn the page. He also rolled a mysterious roll. <laughs> I'm so scared. Uh, Sometimes DMs just do that to fuck with you. I feel like Belloc's gonna ta like target only me from now on because I fucked up <laughs> his plant. My plant. <laughs> You're the bitch who fucked my plant. Okay, uh, as this bird song plays and you kind of play it over and over and over again, the these trees, these uh, bizarre leafless white maple trees begin to writhe and wiggle and slowly they 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 part themselves to reveal a narrow path yay uh, which How is suffused with this strange violet light and it looks like it wanders you know ahead an unknown distance that's where we have to go let's yes. go. Hey, go i'm go, not go. really sure like right now is like when you should be yelling push her into <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I cut his throat. <laughs> it's a good time. No one fucking pushes me. I got real high. Are you I fucking see. kidding me? Go. 
I do an intimidation check. Oh, I, You can't just fucking push me. That's not okay. I get an 11, plus my intimidation is 6, is 17. Uh, okay. Uh, I hold a knife to your throat, and I go, if you ever fucking push me again. What do I roll against? But this is after uh, you got pushed. Usually yeah, I turn around after he pushes me. I guess but you're in the portal thing. Wisdom. Passage. Yeah, I can turn around. Wisdom inside. Inside. <laughs> Everything's wrong, can't turn around. <laughs> what? Wisdom inside? Okay, uh, that's uh, 11. <laughs> it's like... Jesus. If you ever fucking push me again. Okay, Jesus, Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Okay. I'm just going to squeeze by them. Don't fucking touch me. I'm Don't so, do that. Sorry. I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to keep going. Yeah, I'm going to follow him because I, 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 look, there's so much drama. <laughs> I can't do it. You're looking at nail art on your phone. <laughs> Get off there. <laughs> Very good. All right. So you want you wander down this, or you continue ahead down this path between the trees. Is that correct? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Eventually, you emerge into a vast cavern. A dim violet light shines down, casting crooked shadows on the red, loamy earth below. Barren white maples ring this chamber, their branches clawing ever skyward with near imperceptible twists. A portly man clad in scarlet and studded leather stands in the center of the clearing. He sports a thick black eye patch and leans on an ivory cane. A huge bone white oak, bent and broken, looms over him. Its roots burrow in and out of the ground like coiled sea serpents wriggling through a raging tide. Off to one side of the clearing, a birdcage hangs high up in the branch of a crooked tree. A knotted stump sits nearby. Does he Let look real? Let me clear this area out Does here. the guy look real? No, right. he's fake. <laughs> he, Everybody buff up. He looks real, all right. What does that mean? You take your steroids. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a support character. Grayson's gonna pull. <laughs> I'm gonna take my <laughs> mic <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Leroy Jenkins. Oh, yeah, no shit. I got chicken. <laughs> yeah, no one's arguing no. this No fucking shit. No fucking shit, man. All right. God damn it, Leroy. Oh, he's got a whole box full of stuff. <clears throat> I'm going to cover up one of the cameras. At least one of the cameras. <coughs> oh, my God. Now. So sorry, guys. At least uh, one of the cameras. Nice okay. butt. That one's not important. All right. Can you just bend over a little How's this going to work? Mm -hmm. Is that a good angle, chat? You enjoying that? Ooh. Cool! When you get to see what he's doing, it'll be really awesome. It's gonna just blow your mind. It's gonna be real great. Totally gonna be worth it. Whoa! I found it! Uh, this is the portal. I can't believe that worked. I actually did a portal thing. Yeah, that was cool. I didn't I, I didn't thought, see that coming. Whatever. I, once a day, I get to do it. Why not? You seem pretty confident. Give it a... It felt like you did that intentionally. I did do it intentionally because she was saying her sister was like far away. Oh my God. Do you think that's your sister? Oh my God. There what? she is. No, I think and that's not. Grace, or that's uh, Gregory. Are we in Kirby's dreamland? <gasps> what is this? Oh, what a fun concept. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, the, 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 those are not that relevant. <clears throat> Good to know. It smells intoxicating. What's it smelling? Plaster? Ooh, a little birdcage. Oh, that's cute. Little plaster. Someone that's went to fucking cool. Hobby Lobby. Damn. You get that right. Oh, oh, oh do not smell that. <laughs> oh, my God. Are a that's exactly what it is. Maybe take a whiff of this. Is, what's up with Michaels? Are they chill? <laughs> yeah, Michaels. Is that terrible? Michaels is Dick Blick, are they chill? Michaels. Yeah, that's weird. Michaels. Dick Blick's probably... It's not like a, you know, it takes 24 hours to cure you guys. I went this morning. Oh, I like that a lot. Ooh, oh my god. Girl. You're gonna lose brain cells smelling this. Yeah, that's the idea, man. You ever oh, had yeah, fun yeah. before? Yeah. Have you ever had fun before? Yeah. <laughs> Have you <No>. seen me? <laughs> you should try it. It's awful. I was in Vegas this weekend. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Uh, I, got, I got drunk and walked the streets of Vegas in the middle Ooh. of the day. Oh. I mean, that sounds like every yeah. Vegas visit ever. Been, Careful. So. That sounds great. I, my, my sense of direction got real good when I was drunk. <laughs> I walked right into a brothel. Yeah. <laughs> I assume we're on this side, Tom? You came through this portal. Oh, we came through there? We actually went through a portal? 
Yes. What? That's my jam. The mini as you Amy. as you travel down the uh, as you travel down the path. What the path fuck is this? Me and Amy, just the grossest witch babies of all time. What is happening? <laughs> I'm so upset. Wait, is there a song? Oh, this is Beyonce. Yeah. What's Amy. happening? Thing I've ever seen what, in my life. what is your? What are you doing down there? What the was I dance. doing? I have no idea. What you're doing. <laughs> I forget what Wait, I was where doing. Is, where is? Did you? Someone tag me in it. <laughs> they didn't tag you. Why didn't they tag you? Mobius strip. Oh my god, the worst. What were we doing? Oh, we were. You were being Dane Cook. Oh yeah, I was being. Oh, we were both being Dane Cook. That's, That's what we were cool doing. <laughs> That's all right. They didn't tag me. The fuck. <laughs> Hey, look at this tree, Jesus. Very good. So, oh my god. We in Dark Souls? What's I'm gonna happening? kill the trees as fast as possible. <laughs> All right, so, as I said, a dim violet light suffuses this vast cavern, casting crooked shadows on the red, loamy earth below. Barren white maples ring the chamber, their branches clawing ever skyward with near imperceptible twists. A portly man, clad in studded leather and scarlet, stands in the center of the clearing. He sports a thick black eye patch and leans on an ivory cane. Shit. A huge bone white oak, bent and broken, looms over him. Its roots burrow into and out of the ground like coiled sea serpents, wriggling through a raging tide. Off to one side of the clearing, a bird cage hangs high up in the branch of a crooked oh tree. Oh my god, look how cool! A knotted stump sits That's nearby. Cool. What are all these buttholes? Mm, they look like blossoms in the ground. What buttholes oh. have you seen? Yeah. Uh, mine. <laughs> these, these. If Why have I seen it? No, they they all <laughs> what is? What is? How'd she do it? Like when you, when, you, when you have an ulcer, you you're forced to. Take <laughs> I some, gotta check it out every some, now and then. Some drastic measures. Seen inside, outside. Uh, what is the? What is the? Hemorrhoids. All these buttholes have. Hemorrhoids. That's what I'm saying. Um, it's a bad way, man. Buttholes full of hemorrhoids. It's definitely like a cat butthole. I don't. Something. I haven't seen in person any hemorrhoided buttholes, but I've heard. I heard tell that they they explode out. Tom works so hard on this. <laughs> oh, he's that cool. We gotta fight some buttholes now. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, attack the first butthole. <laughs> Sorry. Very good. Jason. So uh, a voice <laughs> echoes to you across the clearing. Ah, uh, yes, finally. Our uh, delicious fruit has ripened and come home to us. Welcome, Tack. It was only a matter of time, was it not? Who is this person? Is this is the big this, reveal? This, this guy is, is saying this. Do I know him? <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's a tree pimp. He's a name tag? Is it a bellic? Uh, well, is he it, a goblin? Uh, he's a human. Look at him. He looks at, you know, looks, looks, he, he looks at you and gazes upon your confusion and uh, takes off his hat and reveals kind of a bald pate, but he's got that kind of ring of hair, that male pattern baldness kind of thing. And he says, oh, yeah, it's very rude of me, of course. I am Belloc. I am, uh, well, some may say, your benefactor. The seeds which were sown so long ago finally have taken root and have now borne fruit. Me? We have been waiting for you here. What the fuck? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about your talent. Were you waiting for ability. my sister? <laughs> well, uh, she was a convenient excuse to bring you here. Your parents dared not send you in person. What? But I figured with a bit of persuasion, they might be enticed to send you. Where's the girl? <laughs> uh, the girl is doing just fine. And from the cage, you hear this Where's Gregory? <laughs> <laughs> There's not two birds in there. Yeah. Uh, he turns and he looks face. and he says, 
Well, young Gregory, he's made a fine addition to the greater glory of the Gulthias tree. Oh, shit, and, I was right. uh, and he says, Come, my boy, come. Let me <laughs> scratch you behind That's the what ears. I was saying. And you see this yep. dumb I kind knew of. It. Like, I, I told nub, you that. I told you. Nub, it's nub. Kirby's nightmare. Nub, nub, nub his way across. Jump over a bottle. <clears throat> and stand next, stands oh, next yeah. to Oh, yeah. Wow. And what is this one's name? The Greg well, Gregory. we've stuck Not with Potter. Gregory for now, but I feel like we might rename him as his personality eventually is it, uh, abs uh, absorbed into the greater. Where is Del? Where were you, Amy? She, she's the, what happened? <laughs> we not, she's the bird. Oh, she's the bird. Yes. I thought I thought she was another stump. No. <laughs> she's the bird. She's too cool to be a stump. I don't think you'll have time to rename him when I murder you, Felic. Ah, is that what you've come to do, young man? You've mm -hmm. come to flex your prowess, Ooh. to prove your courage here, deep in the twilight grove. Wait, if, if you were waiting for me, now what? Now I'm here, now what? Well, we have an offer for you. We would like to train you in your ability to bring you greater power, to unlock the potential within, to further strengthen your connection to the tree. And my parents knew I had this? They were not uh, overtly aware. Let's put it that way. Uh, it was our hope that the power of the wood would in fact, uh, pardon the pun, take root somewhere within the village. And you were, of course, in, in such close proximity to so much of it for so long that you are the best candidate. And as my predictions bore out, you did indeed develop exactly the type of unique abilities which are so sought after in this world. How do, how do I get my sister back? Like get her out of this bird form? Oh, I think you'll come to realize that once you have unlocked your true potential, you won't need your sister, your parents, your family, your friends. You will become a master of the material realm. You will control them as if they were toy puppets, willing and able to do your every building, bidding as if you were tugging on them. Okay, I'm going to, I mean, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna center of attention him, and that means he's gonna need to make a DC, a DC 15 saving throw. Uh, a charisma DC fifteen. Okay. Saving throw. Mm -hmm. Charisma. So let's see if he does. <clears throat> well, I'm going to use my three bumps to Ooh. help me out on that. Fucking a. Mm -mm 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 -mm. <coughs> <coughs> All right. Let's see. Please, 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 DC please. fifteen, huh? Yeah, that seems. All right. Oh, that is a natty one. one. Natural one <laughs> is a failure. Okay. So center attention, what does that do? So yeah, basically every every other creature is invisible to it except for me. Okay, sure. Um, and in the same go around, I'm telepathically telling all three of you that I've done this and that, and so you hear in your brain, he can't see you. Anything you do to him will be you know, it'll be a first sneak attack. You have so much. He can't see you, can't hear you. All he does is see me, so do whatever you want to this thing. Okay. Uh, we're going to start moving. Should we roll initiative? Or? We should roll initiative okay. at this point. So yes. is the other thing here? that you guys should know is... <laughs> the other thing you guys should know is that this effect ends when he takes damage or if I leave his sight. When he takes damage. <laughs> um, when he takes damage, he becomes aware of all of us or just to the person who um, gave him damage? 
Uh, it, it, it's just the effect is over. The, oh, okay. The spell ends. Yeah, the spell ends. Cool. Very good. Move swiftly. Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. <laughs> you've got to be kidding me. This oh, is shit. Oh, dick on a stick. All right. Dick on a stick. Plus. All right. Let's see here. Six. Son of a biscuit. Ooh, I should blow my whistle. Tom, can you play some boss music? Can I give it to you? Sure. The Terminator thing? What is that? I don't feel like Grayson would use it though. It's more of a thumb. Do you want to the whistle of undead? Can I give that to you? I don't think Grayson would have an undead pet. I also use my bonus action every turn. So, Amy. Alright, so who's 20 to both? Do you want my undead whistle? That's a. This is a for. PP Dusty Bones. I got it. Let's roll for the bad guys. Uh, let's see. So he's on what now? His life says he's this piece of paper that's underneath this other piece of paper. <clears throat> mm -hmm. All right. So he's on 12. Yes. I'm going to drop three into the Goltheus tree. <clears throat> All right. All right, so he's on 12. All right. I will just put them both on the same tick just for excitement. All right, so 20 above. Anyone? Anyone above a 20? Uh-uh. No. Mm -hmm. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. I did 15. All right. So I did Amy kicks things off. Tack kicks things off, and then uh, Thawne, you get to go. By the way, when I do that, and it's just me, I, um, I, I, I look at him and I have this huge frown on my face, and I just say, tell me everything, and his world just basically pop, 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 everything. Like, it's basically like I've got a huge spotlight on me. And mm -hmm. that, oh, cool. And that, <gasps> and, and the light Hot kind pill. of feathers out, huh. yeah, the light kind of feathers out around everything else. Okay. Do like a little tap dance or something. Uh, I I uh, a, like a Who's, weird a weird wind appears like below me and it blows my hair back. <gasps> Who's on? Ooh. Anybody? Fourteen? No. Thirteen? Monsters on thirteen. Twelve? Eleven? Ten? Nine? What is happening? Eight? I got you four. always roll the worst initiative. I have four. Uh, <laughs> what? I have six. Average. Oh my right. God. I rolled a four, but I'm at negative one for initiative. All <laughs> oh, right. That's funny. All right. Who still got their inspiration, by the way? I do. I, I do. don't. No. Get rid of it so we can get reimbursed. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> I, need a, I need an inspiration, inspiration well. reimbursement. Very I just good. don't roll a whole bunch Did of money. Like, that a bunch is of spell save. That's our lineup. So, Thon, what would you like to do at the top of round one? Uh, do these things count as cover of any sort? As cover? No. These trees? The trees? The oh, buttholes? I was asking the, these things, but... Oh, the, do the trees count as cover? Uh, I'd say, like, like minor cover. Plus sure, two, yeah. Probably. I didn't think it'd be, like, full or anything. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Uh, and the, the, we're fighting these two or these two? I don't know. You tell me. What are you fighting? Well, I'm saying you, you rolled initiative for two. I oh. think you stab okay. Gregory right now. Gregory? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I miss him. Yes. Uh, I'll aim for him. Um, are those bubbles going to attack us? We're not going to know. It's all part of the game. We're not going to know. Um, Who are you shooting? Uh, I will shoot Belloc. Very good. Well, that's terrible. Uh, how about a 13? 13 does not hit. <laughs> uh, I want to use a luck point. Okay. If you How hit does... him, we all become visible. Yeah, that's true. That's okay. I mean, we're going to have mean, to hit him at, at some point. Should I wait until you're, like, near, closer? Oh, yeah. We could time it all out. It's we could devise a plan. Because, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't end. And we know this because we've done it before. But, but that also means they, all t that they target her for everything. True. Now. And I no, 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 they, they can see me. Right, only, so they're only going to hit you no, until they, they can everyone see Everyone can see you guys. Everyone can see all of us. Only Bella can... We're not aware of other enemies in this arena right now. Yeah. 
We only know Bella. Well, I mean, this thing moved, so obviously that's Gregory, but mm. I don't know if we're going to fight that. He's mm. not our enemy, or is he? Okay. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> luck point. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Nightsteed is dropping two bumps on the table. Oh, hell Whoa. yeah, Nightsteed, yeah. what's up? Yes. Thank you, Nightsteed. Can you pass these around? Can please? I bump my luck roll? What do you mean your luck roll? If I do a luck roll, because I, if I use a luck point to... It's your re-roll? Well, it's not a re-roll, I, I roll another d20. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't... I don't... <laughs> You can say no because it's technically. I think you have to kind of declare that ahead of time. Yeah. You know, like if there's no if there's no bumps on the. Uh, okay, then I'll just I'll know. I'll take Seems the miss weird. then just to just to see if everybody else can get in a closer position. I can give you another attack this round, by the way. Oh, Wait. that's right. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take the miss. Okay, monsters go, monsters go. All right. Uh, so. So it's not 13, everybody. Just so you all know, it's not 13. Above 15. Amera, Amera. All right. Hold on. Hold on. One cool thing has been unlocked. Yes! Well, that changes everything. Did we lose the stream again? Well, we didn't really lose it last time. Oh. But yeah, right now, there's no speed, no, there's no upload speed at all. And no one is here, no one's uploading anything. Zero upload speed. Technically, we're still recording though. Oh, oh, it's coming back, coming back. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I... Who's the cable <coughs> provider? Your mom. Oh, yeah, shit. Burn. Is your mom wow. the cable provider? It's so cool. That, that was not very like nice, Tom. Cable provider is a perfectly reputable job to have. Your mom could very well be a cable provider and be making good money. You said it in a mean way. Yeah, rationalize that. <laughs> Go monsters! <laughs> Are we back? Uh, n no, it does not look like Not that. really. Pause, mm -hmm. monsters. Good, it gives me some time to can think I, about it. Just do like a dictation, like who the courtroom. I'm going to destroy Can first. I bonus action? Dunzo. That's fine. Who are you hunt hunters marking? Uh, Belloc. All right. Very good. This is a great time to take some awesome pictures. Oh, we took a bunch. I took a bunch. I tweeted them. They've been tweeted. Our dog is like, mm, come on now. Man, that check mark on your Twitter is so cool, Amy. Thanks. Who do we have to bribe to get that? I just submitted. Okay, we're back, but like, it's not. It's not. But, the, good. <laughs> but it's slow. Yeah, audio audio seems to be fine. Though, cool. Uh, we will describe oh. everything that happens. Very, it's a podcast now. <clears throat> Very good. <laughs> All right. Sorry about the upload speed, everybody. We're we're having some uh, technical issues here at the El Studio to so. El Studioso. I wonder what we could do to figure out like what else is on the network that's eating bandwidth. It's me. Um, I mean, <laughs> some <laughs> internet <laughs> providers throttle their services after a certain time of the night because they're like, no one's using it. Tell your mom to stop throttling. Well, and <laughs> my and mom will never stop throttling burn. till her dying day. Sometimes, like my my phone too, automatically backs up pictures when I get on Wi-Fi. Like anything I take, it starts. Up to Google Drive. I'm <laughs> uploading a feature length movie yeah. to Instagram right now. So. 4K. <laughs> Very good. All right. So, shall we play the Dungeons and the Dragons? Mm. Are people filtering back into the chat? They never uh, left? Yeah. yeah, go for it. Okay. Very Let's good. Let's do it. All right. So, uh, just to recap, Garav fired uh, an arrow with advantage. Mm. Yeah, we just it Missed. What? Are you sure? That sounds fake. Fake news. Fake news. I'll pull up my phone and see what you guys see. Oh, yeah. And Let's all it, get on our and phones even and worse. throttle it. I'm going to make it even worse. <laughs> I'm not on the Wi-Fi. That's true. I'm not on Wi-Fi either. Yeah, that's really dumb. I'm not on Wi-Fi. It's all your fault. Your photos are uploading of your dog. I have a lot of photos of my dog. Let's, let's not. <gasps> what? What? 
Nothing. You're, you're surprised that I have a lot of photos of my dog? No. I just realized I had something in my inventory. <laughs> That I'm going to use against you. Okay. That sounds great. Thanks for the, sub the sub. You're up. You're welcome. Would you sub up? Sub yeah. up, baby. Are you giving yourself a bump? How does that work? Ooh, yeah. Give yourself a bump. Uh, I think you could do that. Yeah, is you that, earned it. Is that allowed? You earned it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I want to do see. <laughs> <laughs> Look at how Ross feather token. <laughs> this is so much. It's like still more attractive than that photo you took of me earlier. There's a lot happening. There <laughs> really is. And I, everyone, keep in mind I have antitoxin and like Do we need to a couple the potions or something? I don't know. of healing. Um, what is expeditious retreat? I can, I, yeah, I can try rebooting the are you gonna go pee, Amy? Uh, no. Oh, I'm gonna go. Pee. Are we still? Are we still down? Yeah. Okay. I don't want to be the queen. Go piddle. Oh, don't say that. Hey, Michael, do a Oh boy, the whole the whole internet might be down because I'm not getting anything on my phone either. Uh, well, if you were connected to the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. I when I took off the Wi-Fi. Okay. Weefy. Okay, you were going nuts with that water. What is so fucking good about that water? Try some. Hey. Hey, buddy. Mm. Well, they got two stretch goals completed on that Arcana note. It's a yeah, I don't, I don't really remember what they are. Isn't it dice tray colors. Oh, yeah, you get different colors. Mm -hmm. on the dice tray. That's cool. I hope they give you enough paper on there, like extra I think paper. You can buy more. On the Kickstarter, they, they say yeah. you can? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's a new a art styling option for the inserts. Are you a little baby? I managed to get in on the early bird yesterday. I did too, yeah. I backed the dog my thing, and then it came up as a suggested one. I'm like, what's this? Yeah. Lick my face. There's a the guy way. on Reddit who actually uh, was uh, talking about doing this Kickstarter and asking what we'd like to see like a month or two ago. Oh, okay. And so he took the feedback and made the Kickstarter. Yeah. He was really cool about it. It's pretty exciting. I, I am not a fan of early bird stuff. Yeah, I saw you mention that. Why was that? Oh, it's like uh, I've gotten mad at several projects sure. because I found out about them like it, two things. Either I found out about them like a week or two weeks after they've launched right. and they were, all the early bird stuff is filled up. Or it'll be something like, oh, I'm thinking about backing this. You have what? You have And then literally what? You have like an hour later, 30? all the early birds are just going to have 32. 30? Right. She's gonna have 32. Well, now I have to Which pay. Which means she immediately five or ten or twenty dollars so more, she, or whatever. Right. It depends upon how bad. The, and I and I and I checked it out at like like right when it launched. I would say the other part of it is like depends upon when you launch your Kickstarter. If you launch at like. You are. If you launch uh, at like yes. nine I, nine Eastern, said. that's six. That's six in the morning Pacific. Right. Like, am I awake? Yeah. 85% chance, yes. Right. But am I checking Kickstarter? Fuck no. Right. <clears throat> we're alive. We're but, uh, live, but we're chunking along. Yeah. Chunking. Did you do a speed test dump? Yeah. On the internet? What did it say? Like one megabit. Huh. Upload? Wonder yeah. what happened. I'm telling you, this used to happen to me with the service provider. It's like late at night, they would throttle it. Yeah, but it's business class. Kind of more business class. Huh. Anyway. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there. I'm sorry about the speed issues that we have here. It is your um, fault. We did kill the boss, though. It is, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, 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 it was, was this crazy. epic battle. Um, it was, and you did the thing that was so I did the crazy. thing. I did the thing, yeah. Drayson had this terrific noble sacrifice. I'm curious to see what character yeah. Eric is going to come back with next yeah. week. It would be pretty interesting. Um, I mean, it was unfortunate the way that he got disemboweled. But <laughs> By Avril, which was the yeah, weirdest that was the, that was, You that shouldn't was, touch me again, I told don't you. Don't trust the bird I song. warned you. I, told I you. leveled five times. <laughs> see, that's unbelievable. If you, in this joke. Dom, if you want an internet of 2.2 <laughs> megabits per second, you can tether my phone. <laughs> All right, very good. So. Is, is, is it streaming worth a crap quality or not? 
Should we periscope it? <laughs> we I did that for an entire episode once. Yeah. I remember um, that. Better than well, we could, we could continue to record. If the recording is fine, but the, uh -huh. the streaming, that's not good. We could, we could the say good night good. and then finish this session just as a, as a recorder, as a recorded episode. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, here's the thing. Like, if we were mid-combat or something like that, I would be inclined to maybe tr like clean it up and then put it out on YouTube or, or something of that nature. Okay. Um, but since we just started this big boss fight, I feel like we should like freeze everybody at the bumps that they have so that chat doesn't like miss out or whatever, and kind of like freeze the remember what the funding level is and whatnot, and pick this up next week. And just talk to each other. Um, for like half an hour, and or, or, or whatever. I mean, I, you know, however we want to round up the session. But mm -hmm. I mean, if we're so if we're not streaming for crap, uh, yeah. and I don't, I don't really want to cool. like push this <laughs> combat <laughs> into. I want everybody to be able to enjoy it, and I want them to be able to enjoy it live, mm -hmm. right? So Makes that's sense. that's my feeling. All right. Chess says it's a good call. Okay. Very. They good. can hear us. Can they see us? Yeah, they can see you, but you're like. That's weird because that's what happened with um, Megan okay. and Jordan stuff too. Yeah, but it's all internet. It's they have shitty internet. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very good. So so we'll um, I'm gonna write down. Do you the... think this is because of our president? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I think it's order. Irving's fault. I don't want to get into it, but yes. He's so slow. He's slowing down our internet. All right. So stupid and fat and shitty. I mean, Irving is chewing on a cable that says "Internet, do not bite." Is that? That's not true. Irving doesn't open his mouth for shit. He opens his mouth one, once a day to yawn. No, that's about more like. All right. Thon, how many how many bumps do you have? Eleven. Eleven yeah. bumps. Oh, Ele I've spent none. And do you have inspiration? Yes. I saved it all for this battle. <laughs> all right. Monsters. I have... Monsters. Oh, I used some on that saving throw, didn't I? All right. I have 15 yeah, it didn't, bumps. Yeah, didn't help for shit. <laughs> I rolled a natural oh, one. You rolled a natural one. You also had to get a DC 15, which is horde. Horde? Horde. Uh, Avril, how many bumps do you have? Six. Six bumps. And do you have inspiration? No. No. Not yet. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good. My phone's got Tech. 4G. Eight and inspiration. <laughs> Eight. Tether that phone. I've done that before. Does Irving have something in his mouth? There's no, no that's his uh, bandana. Oh, I was so excited. <laughs> uh, Grace. Are you actually a guitar? I have nine this? bumps and no inspiration. Nine. My character bumps. has no inspiration. No inspiration. Oh, inspired. We need to motivate right. you. Very good. Uh. I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else that I would like to address here at the Q and A. Ask us anything. Yeah. If, us yeah, anything. if chat wants, if we want to have a little, we could have a like a mini fireside chat. I guess. Who the yeah. fuck? Who the fuck? Is really? Really? All right. Let's do it. Okay. Right. So, what other questions? Yeah. What, what, what questions do you guys have for the cast? Either We're here for about you. the game, about their characters, about what's going on. Yeah, we got um, nothing better going on. Just we'll answer your questions. I'm gonna go clean my bathtub. I think. <laughs> Is that true? I was thinking about that too, actually. It's really, really gross. I've yeah. never cleaned it. I've been there for a year. And you know what I treated yeah. myself to? Year, but I'm a gross lady. I treated myself to um, a maid visit. Oh, oh I, I thought, thought about, about doing that. that. I thought and, about doing that. And I have to tell you, game changer. She always writes them down. I wrote it down and I got it, Tom. Was it worth uh, it, Amy? Yeah, a hundred percent. Because because even no matter like I live alone and there's so much that I look at and I'm like, but I don't have to. Right. You know, like am I gonna spend five minutes deep cleaning the corners and grout of you know the bathtub, or am I just gonna like read a book? Like I'm never gonna care enough, I don't think. So I was like, I know that I will never care. I've been, I went through months of not caring enough to clean it. And how I was long, like, I think how I long like, were they there? Um, I, they I don't know. I wasn't there. I like got some. I like, left a key under the mat and was like, "Oh, really? Wow, yeah. that's very trusting." Yeah, but I, I don't know. There wasn't much. I don't know. Well, you what, found one that's like a good rating or something. Steal like. my fucking forty dollar mini. Um, <laughs> Did they? That's um, where it went. No, no. I, now you know. stole that from yourself. Yeah, I did. I, I lost the fuck out of it. But no, it was worth it. It, 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 it was like my whole apartment. 
and it's a one bedroom, so it was like a hundred bucks, but it was oh, wow. it was oh, definitely yeah. we're streaming great right now. Oh great. <laughs> we are on top of the stream and we're back up really? to full speed. Huh? Yeah, we are, but it doesn't mean anything. All right. Well, you know, I mean, honestly, like, regardless of a the of the of the speed, in the, with That's half an hour really. left, really, to wrap things up, I don't think that's enough time to give this encounter its proper due. So yeah, you thought it was going to be the finale, but not with our shenanigans. Yeah. At no point he said he was constantly saying it wasn't the finale. Uh, his Twitter. Seemed to beg to differ. He just got here and realized Wait. who his players were. He's like, oh, this isn't going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I forgot that all of you guys are you so charismatic. Questions? They have yes. Yeah, oh, if yeah, they have questions, float them at us. Toss them up on the screen. Kind of, we're just talking like, about maids. I was going to kick something up. Go ahead. It's the finale. Oh, wait, they're going to spend half an hour uh, arguing about this. Hey, Amy, where's your mini? <laughs> you did. Who said that? I'm mad at them. Is it you? Was it you? I'm a fucking dog. Did you type, go into chat? I didn't, I didn't do that. We're best friends it? now. Is Eric Firewolf? No. I've never seen you guys in the same room. Oh, is Firewolf the same? Firewolf? Firewolf. 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 Do you want to go? That's Firewolf's a Do you want to go? That's a good hee hee ha ha. Yeah, I like that. That was a good joke. Yeah, he seems was like was an sense. interesting person. He's pretty curious. What do you guys think about the direction that your characters are developing? Oh, a real question. I don't want to other than Firewolf's piece of garbage that he wanted to make Wait, he didn't about. ask that question, so oh, we I just forgot. asked about him. I forgot to be really mad at this right. guy. What? Firewolf? Firewolf, no, Firewolf asked if he this was guy Eric? killed my dad. No, I should Firewolf have been really asked where Amy's mini was. Oh, because he's a right, jerk. Um, so, right, yes. he's just trying to get me riled up. How, how do you guys feel about the direction your characters have developed? Amy right. first, go. Tom first. How do Tom. You First, answer that question. Oh, I, the I love your it. Are going? I like ah. it. I like it. Any time that I make, I make up even just a little bit of backstory, and it comes to bite me in the ass. That, <laughs> that's really fucking great. That's like the the best yes and a DM can give. Thanks, Tom. What do you think about along those lines? What do you think about all of this stuff with your parents kind of being implicated in like dealing with Bella? Yeah, I think it's really fucked up. AKA, I love it. Okay. I really, I really do. I think because I, I made a, a thing, you know, based on our, our session zero, mm -hmm. and and it, I like it when you think that like, oh, this is a good thing, maybe a bad thing that I have in my backstory, and then, and then it still is. I mean, it still is a good, maybe a bad thing. So. And I think we talked about this last Thursday, but maybe we should just revisit. Like, what would be a bridge too far that you find out? Like, oh, it turns out my parents. Actually, yeah, like, like, if, ex, like well, the thing is, it's all much? motivation. So if my parents are like doing the best that they can in some shitty circumstances, that's awesome. But if it's if it's their motivation is like, oh well, we don't love you, Tack, and we found out that you're this certain way, and we're trying to exile you from this plane, then that's like, wait, I I just wrote parents in my backstory. I didn't write that they were like they hated like, me. Yeah, yeah. So the motivation is like it's, it still sounds like they were doing the best they could. It sounds like they're struggling toy crafters trying to make a living in a really hard oak cursed land <laughs> on the storm coast, and uh, and and that still feels feels right to me. So I don't know I don't know exactly what's going on still. But but I'm not mad that that maybe they they knew a little bit more than they were letting on because I think you even said this in sessions you're you're like well they did they make the the magical mummers cart basically and I'm like yeah they did that was the implication yeah yeah they did make that so so I don't know if they imbued them its magical powers got them from somewhere even knew about them mm -hmm. but it sounds like they did at least know about them if not have some you know hand in in putting the, those. <clears throat> that deem demonic thing inside of it. And I, I, th I think the, you know, one of the things that's sort of like amorphous right now is how much of, of their involvement is they somehow summoned something and put it inside the toy or it's because they're using this material, the material naturally yeah. has the thing inside of it, right? Yeah. Um, and that's, that's, that's not specifically defined right now, but I think that's okay. No, but I, yeah, I like that all these people know stuff about me and my family that I don't know. And so, it, yeah, it helps with, uh, you know, when I, you know, actually focus and start role playing. And, and <laughs> where, where playing. do you see the resolution of this coming with, like, your sister's transformed into this weird bird? So my, my goal... Why did, why did Belloc in the tree, like, bring you here? Yeah, I, I still, 
I, 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 didn't have, I didn't know it was a tree thing. I thought it was more of a demon thing, but now it sounds like there's a, some tree power. But, but I, I, don't, I don't really know. That's why my first action wasn't to attack Belloc. It was just to like, hey, don't attack my friends. Like this is between you and me. And mm. if it happens to benefit my friends, then even better. But really, the goal is to just get my sister back, as always. Okay. Um, get her back to normal, hopefully. But I don't know who's. I don't really know who's side I am. I still don't know because we decided to kind of trust Gingy. So I, I still don't know if I trust him or Belloc. I still don't know if. And I know that there's a higher power than even Belloc. So th there's a lot that could happen. But okay. it sounds like the next order of action is to attack Belloc. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I, I think that's, that's unavoidable. It's been fairly well established at this point. Yeah, um, I'm going to learn as much as I'm I can gonna kill from Gregory. Before. <laughs> Gregory the <laughs> stop. Garoth, how do you something. feel about the direction that, that, that Thawne is developing? Um, honestly, I'm not so sure, because uh, up until last week, he didn't really have a motivation as to why he was sort of doing this. I mean, he did as in that his father told him, hey, be the best you can be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, take up what I left off. Um, but other than that, like, as a character, I felt like he's, to me, it felt like he was the most out of place in this group. Mm -hmm. And I, Oh, really? Because it sounds like you have a best friend, so I don't know why you'd be out of place. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, that, that's, that's the other thing. Is like today we did a, a bunch of role playing that wasn't really part of the story. It was fun for us because we're making character choices, but it wasn't like any of that is going to affect this story. So along that way, I forgot about that I should be really angry at this guy when we got in here. Because <laughs> like this guy killed my dad. This guy killed my... Like, I totally he, forgot about he it. He is the one, right. And yeah. it, because Amy's story with this guy had been kind of uh, uh, on top of that. And I honestly was kind of a little more... Uh, I was more interested in that mm -hmm. up until last week when that kind of was dropped out of almost nowhere. Because I wasn't expecting it at all. I didn't mm -hmm. know you were going to pull that. Um, so it's a little weird because I'm still trying to figure out how to take him as a character. Because right now, I think... I'm, I, he's kind of boring to me uh -huh. because I don't know which way just being a folk hero and a good guy isn't like the most interesting thing to me. Do you think do you think it, like the whole thread of potentially vengeance for your dad, etc. Do, do you and and this this conspiracy that's sort of been hinted at in town d does that make your character more interesting or is it um, kind of like well i'm if, not sure where it's going yet i i think i think it can be i think it, yeah if if i become more involved with it in in taking down the mayor if that becomes my next goal which i think would be after we get rid of Belloc, well, we'll see what happens but if i can bring him to justice it'd be better mm -hmm. instead of outright murdering him you know uh, as, that to them too, as we all do at this point we all taking a bunch of shit so uh, I think we'll see where it goes from there. It depends on how badly the mayor is implicated in this. It mm -hmm. seems like he was... It might have been an intimidation I mean, thing, yeah, which I is mean, like still not chill. He but. was protecting our town technically with bribing these guys or whatever. Right. So he had good intentions. You don't negotiate with terrorists. I mean... Muckfutter. <laughs> I mean... And, uh, I don't know. In a fantasy world, wouldn't you, though, want your people to live, you know, by all means possible? Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, and we don't. We have yet to see what sort of what his yeah. true power is. Like, right. Yeah. Like he's just a guy with a. I cane mean, at this think point. about the frost. Like that. Yeah. Everyone was essentially. Yeah, dead. but we don't know who that yeah. priest man was. That dragon priest. Yeah, we do. We it do. Was, it was the the last dragon priest of the Cobalts. Yeah. Of the of the uh, of the Sunless Citadel. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. but that's still we still don't know what that even means. He was the one. Uh, Taking care of the dragon, like he 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 caused the dragon to to come to life out of its egg, which is why there was frost everywhere. Uh, and, oh, and then okay. also, well, maybe we do know this then. Also, <laughs> uh, also, last session it was it was stated that uh, Belloc murdered him in order to secure control over the Sunless Citadel. Right. Right. I went back and watched the YouTube today as I was modeling these beautiful figures. <laughs> these are, are so really pretty. cool. <laughs> they smell you work terrible. so hard. Ugh. Um, Ugh. All right. <laughs> so, uh, very good. Uh, Havana, how do you feel about your secret marriage to Thon? <laughs> was it to me or was it to your brother? Oh, that, who made we, that implication? Wait, you made that are you married? <laughs> <laughs> no. are you? We can't do this again. We cannot do this again. 
I have work in the morning. I can't do this for another hour. <laughs> Wait, well, why did you say that? I don't know. I just say things. I'm crazy. Uh, crazy. But I, I go nuts for this shit. <laughs> Aww. You know, maybe we need to have like a, a discussion about it, you know. All of us? Me and you? Okay. What, what, is it just a yes or no? Because <laughs> what, what is it past that? <laughs> do, you guys, do you guys think you're secret married? I can see what's happening. As when, why, married, why, when, I can where? I assure you there's far more discussion than should we get married, yes or no. <laughs> All right. Well, well, Are we already married? Yes. I think it's Ulti- better. Ultimately, it does come down to should we get married, yes or no. I think it's better as a mystery. <laughs> yeah, like a one, like like a a one night you water deep sort of deal. Something like. went... We what woke happened? up with rings. I don't know. What happened to the what happened to the unlockable where people could do one night yeah. in Neverwinter? That, I like that. Did that go away, Dom, or oh, yeah. people just uh, not? Revlo went away, so we don't have. Oh, oh that was a Revlo mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. One night in Neverwinter. Because that seems like a one night oh, in no. Re- yeah. Neverwinter. Neverwinter. Well, yeah. It was Waterdeep, oh, wasn't it? Was All right. Never, no, so it was apart right. from Sorry, the uh, are they or aren't they uh, wedding bells, um, they, which, which we'll they? we'll get to at some point. Yes, Mooper. I know we're gonna go pretty soon. Um, no, I'm not. If there's if there's one line of development or one piece of your like character plot arc that you could like hardcore pursue next, what would it be? Um, I don't know. That's an interesting I mean, question. I, I guess one, one hmm? uh, maybe along those lines. What'd you say? It's a divorce. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, along those lines, like Never. how how important is it for you to figure out like what happened with your parents, where they are, what they're doing? I think like is that is that is that a well, plot book that that you feel oh, a yeah. need to follow up on, or are you okay with it? I think for or just like let it go. For Avril, like it's like her lack of relationship or lack of knowledge of like her parents is more of something she really resents and like pushes down. Mm -hmm. So I don't think she has any like, at least on the surface, any motivation to pursue where they went. It's like, it's not like they got taken away or, you know, or they were killed in front of her or something like that. Like they left her. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, she takes that pretty personally and, and it's not, that's not really her motivation. I think what's motivating her in like this specific journey is that everybody else seems to be really motivated by things that seem really important. Um, Like Grayson has like his faith and Thon now has this motivation with his father um, and he's just, he needs a folk hero and that's kind of his. And then Amy has like this whole, uh, or Tack has this whole, um, you know, a a relationship with another plane and, and and things like that. And and they, and of, of course we're trying to find her sister and it's about her family and stuff, but it's like, so Avril is kind of left without a real purpose in this matter. Like mm-hmm. these are her friends and she's helping them. But I think that's like a big reason of why she takes like extreme risks, risks and like acts out a lot is because it's like, is it's, it's like it is, it's like acting out. It's like, well, what's in it for me? I'm at least gonna have fun. Like I need a thing. Everybody's got a thing. I want a thing. And mm-hmm. so I'll be, I'll be that fucking girl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, so, I mean, it almost sounds like, like this sort of adventuring life is sort of like a joy ride for you. It's like whatever, whatever, I, whatever yeah. our reason for getting together is great as long as I get to go and, you know, push the buttons and pull the lever like, and yeah. touch so the like, statue. So like personality traits, I have a joke for every occasion, especially where humor is inappropriate. That's like something I established when I built the character or when I b- made this character sheet. And then her flaws is I can't resist swindling people who are more powerful than me. And, it, and then, like, her bonds are, like, she fleeces the wrong person and must work to avoid. Like, they're all just, like, very, like, extreme, you know, uh, the consequences of her actions are kind of what drive her. Okay. It's, like, it's just, like, it's all building up to some kind of, like, chaotic head. And that's kind of, it's but exciting got, and thrilling for her. What if you got, her. like, a little clue about your parents? Or your backs, or, or, like, your back? Yeah, but I haven't. Mm. Well, I don't know if but it's like still... you as the, you as the player is. Do you feel like it's? It, it sounds to me like you. The way you view the character is, she doesn't really give a shit about her parents because they took no. them off on her. They, and they abandoned it, her. No one took them. No one forced them to leave. They and, didn't explain themselves. Yeah. Like, so, so I understand the. It's char- like if someone put you up for adoption. 
When you, how old was I? I was fucking 10. Yeah. Right. It's right. too late. Right. <laughs> you yeah. can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. That's, the, that's, that, that's, that's an interesting, you know, I think as a DM, it always comes back around to, you look at something like that on the character sheet and you go, oh man, I'm totally going to do something with her parents. Da, 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 da. And, and what's interesting to me is it sounds like, both as a player and from a character perspective, you're like, I could really give a shit about yeah. that whole like that's just the like on, I mean, that's the circumstances of her life, and and it, it almost changes too many things about her to to change that circumstance. It's not on brand for her. Yeah, right. She's just like a very independent and um, I don't know, just like for like I hate to say like free <laughs> free bird or whatever, but you right. know, free but bird song. I think from from a meta perspective. The character is very much defined by the fact that she's an orphan, and if if her parents come back into the picture, it muddies the character. You're yeah. not actually sure, like, kind of where to. I think she would to... become very angry over any other yeah. emotion. Yeah. Yeah. What if you met like a, a half sister, and and that person was like a dick? Well, I she thinks of like Tack as like her sister. Hmm. Aww. Aww. <laughs> But not uh, best friend. Which is like... That's, uh, sister's so much better. <laughs> like you kidding that, me? Uh, you can be best friend and ha fucking husband and I'll be sister. And I'm st I still win. It, I also <laughs> like... I like to think about that and then like... <laughs> when she's like, we're trying to find your sister. And I'm like, but let's go to the Rat Warrens. It's like, you already have a sister. You don't need to find another one. <laughs> let's go do stuff. Let's let go your do sister stuff. die. <laughs> Just let her die in this dungeon. <laughs> Aww. I don't know. She's, she's a selfish person. What if she just <laughs> stays a bird forever? It'd be fine. It'd be fine. We'd she's not her hurt. Stop that. She'd get croutons. Stop that. Who oh, crap? Is that what you like, feed we're birds? Stop, but we're still recording. Oh, okay. But, uh, it's, it went offline again. So. Uh, R.I.P. Uh, Eric, RIP. is there anything you want to you want to add in on on your character being the punching bag for the rest of the group? Aww. No, I I like that because I like Gaurav. I I designed a very like goody two shoots character. Yeah, and that's kind of a like it's it's hard to like where do I go from there? Like because my original concept for the character was like the idea of a guy who wanted to be a paladin. But the god he worshipped never gave him the powers to be a paladin, and I was gonna. But then I figured that's way too complicated. I'll just be a paladin, and so I like the idea of like him being kind of like trying to be good and everyone giving him shit all the time, and then like leaning into that like like well, I'm your brother, come on. <laughs> and then and the last few sessions, it's gotten more into like he's gotten so frustrated, he's become reckless. Just in his frustration, like because he's yeah. like trying to do good and no one lets him, so yeah. he's just reckless now. <laughs> Which is very interesting. Almost kind of like you becoming more of a chaotic good kind of character. Yeah, just like so eager to do good that you just do bad. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I feel like there is like a side series that we could run here that would just be. Tales Gra from Neverwinter. <laughs> well, that would just be no. Actually, it would be Grayson and his like training mentor or something like that. Like I, oh, yeah. I feel like there's a relationship somehow, like where he's studying somebody he looks up to, or whatever. That that's. That's a relationship that there's something, there's something... Sexual. Not sexual, but like there's something special <laughs> going on. Well, humor is inappropriate. <laughs> that's, ah. um, like it's one of those, it's, it's some sort of like weird, like kind of like coming of age and like drawing on the well of wisdom type of thing. I don't know what it is, but... Yeah, because before we even like did the session zero, the concept was at some point he saw, like a man, a paladin came to the town and like fought off some like bandits or some monster or something like single-handedly with the power of Torm. And he was like, that's who, I'm going to be a paladin. And then like Torm never granted him the power to be a t paladin. But he still wears the armor, goes around doing his stuff. I think, Very dumb, I, the guy. I think I know, so, so if I were to run like a sideline series with just your character... <laughs> It would be your mentor as the main character, and then you as the like the sidekick. You as the boy Robin. Yeah. He's like, hey, can I? You know, okay, you know, can I? I'll can be I, your squire. Can, yeah. Can I hitch up the horses or whatever? And, and then just you getting in trouble as he's like trying to like yeah. like mm -hmm. fight off the demons. Like, oh shit, I gotta You're save Grayson again. I'm just Percival following around <laughs> Galahan until eventually I become knighted myself. Yeah. Yeah. I th I think that would be. I don't know. There, there you go, Dom. I got, a, I got a new show for you. <laughs> a spinoff. The that? first saving throw <laughs> spinoff. Spin Dom is like, what's that? Grayson. <laughs> F you guys. 
All right, very much, very good. Uh, so I want to thank uh, you guys for tuning in, or whoever tuned in, or who's watching this on the VOD um, on the back end. Uh, obviously, we had technical issues tonight. You did. Uh, let's be honest. You from the, did. From the very start of this session, we knew it was going to go off the rails. So maybe it was. Fatal what to What me. was the indicator there? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm curious. I think so probably the dog. It was when the dog. was the writing on the wall? We can blame it on Luigi, everybody. Destiny's Child. Uh, to be fair, I had a great time. Good. I, I had a great time too. I've been I'm looking forward. I, and, and, and I have to say, drunk. like, I want to give this encounter its full due. So I'm glad yeah. that we didn't just it kind of like, it, yeah. Ah, yeah, yeah there are it. way too Why many not? buttholes to take this lightly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe you did. Those didn't. are flowers. They're anus. You ever I seen mean, a flower? <laughs> you ever yeah. seen your own anus? <laughs> God damn it. Let me take a picture and show it to you. <laughs> Tom, <laughs> Wayne, yeah. Those, yep. those are buttholes. Yeah, All right, buttholes. very good. You know, Hobby Lobby buttholes. You're in the tw the Twilight Grove. It's supposed to be cre it, no. What's creepier than flowers that I mean, have an orifice? You, you gave up. That's a really good point. <laughs> and we're okay with. If it. I saw a flower that it's it's like m the middle part of it was a butthole, I would be very scared for all humanity. I think. Yeah. All right. Butthole flowers exist. Well, what snakes? All you folks who have Photoshop out there know. What Don't. No. <laughs> Don't. Oh yeah, my do God. Don't at me. Garage. Don't at me. Please well, don't. I, I, I only say yeah, that because whenever anything related to the show happens, they at all of us. So it'd be like, <laughs> hey, at Havana this, but it would also tag each one of us too. <laughs> yeah. Just because no. it would be a reply to something. No, thank you. I'm, Do you hate the internet? I, <laughs> God, I love Actively. the internet. I'm sorry I even put that oh, idea I'm so addicted out there. to the internet. All right, very good. Uh, yeah, so thank you so much for joining addicted. us. Go check out the table breaker. Oh, when do we send this back, Dom? Definitely broke our. Do you have to pay for this shipping is, on that? This no. Is like, this is like sh a shot put type of. Oh, it is. Yeah. <gasps> That'd be so much more fun if uh, all the Olympics Wouldn't that be were great? nerd yeah. themed. Yeah. And, and like you had to roll, you had to get far, but also roll high. Yeah, exactly. What if discus <laughs> was you just threw like a PlayStation One? <laughs> Those aren't disc shapes at all. I hate to say it. There's a They're dent kind in of that. thinner though. Oh yeah, but it looks like it's on purpose. A Dreamcast. Oh, that'd be cool. Okay. A Walkman. I'm scared of Whoa! it. Whoa! <laughs> what am I doing with this? Falls through the floor. Wait, I'm not done picking it up. What is, oh, I don't want it now. Duh. Oh my God. Don's like <laughs> making his do shit. This wasn't as heavy I as I anticipated based why. on the reactions you guys were having. It's you're, pretty you're heavy though. Eric, you're up. I don't like your jokes. No big deal. He doesn't, doesn't give a shit. Strong as an ox. Like I'm just this thing every, is heavier than oh, oh, him. Not right like, over your phone. Don't do that over man. your phone. Yeah. <laughs> that is not. So scary. <laughs> do it over Tom's phone. Okay. <laughs> All your minis. <laughs> Why'd you have us do that, huh? He's going to Photoshop in balls. Yeah. He gets money for every picture he can send. Mine are your balls. Balls. <laughs> All right. Sex. Very good. So uh, thank you, everyone, Sprinkling who joined us for tuning in this hair. session. We really appreciate your uh, time and patience here. We will pick this up again next week, and I, I'm looking forward to it. So that will be super fun. I love I you. Will be, RIP. I will be this here stream. tomorrow at 2. Uh, Thursday at 2. I don't know if we're actually live or just recording, but you can catch me on Disorganized Play. I'll do a recap show and talk about kind of like where we're at, where we're supposed to go. you do it here now? That sort of thing. Boy, I really would like to do it here because the air conditioning is so much better than it is in my oh. apartment. That's wow. terrible. Um, there's that. Uh, Friday night is... What's, what's the new show on Fridays? Is this still uh, Deadlands? Well, we have Never Tell the Odds season finale tomorrow. Oh, season finale of Never Tell the Odds tomorrow night. Um, this will be very good. Right um, America's the GM. Back. They just did a bunch of dance moves in last week's session, oh. and now it's just 100, uh, hundreds and hundreds of uh, hut goons just filling up a bunch of buildings, waiting to, like, I don't know, fire blasters at them. Or... They're hut goons. They don't have any accuracy. They're all Jedi. Everybody's oh. Jedi. Java the so that's tomorrow Java night. You can catch that uh, tomorrow Jedi night at head. eight o'clock here on the saving throw. <laughs> It'll be a different movie. Uh, okay. Then Friday night is the, black is, is what black, black, black bag. bag. Oh, that's black right. Bag black bag forever. Black Vikings. Vikings with Vikings. your DM, Mr. West. I like Otis. that show, Vikings. And then this weekend, you, you're off on your own recognizance. You can go and watch the VODs or what have you. This one, maybe you're watching it right now. Binge. <laughs> and Monday's RPGs, uh, so RPG Exploration Society is what's Monday? 
Are we doing anything on Monday the the second or third or whatever it is? Third, Monday the third, yes. Do uh, we have David school? Is running uh, a oh, Kickstarter oh, for oh. King and Yellow. Oh, the King and Yellow Kickstarter. We'll get a preview right here. Is the King attacking? Um, with Mr. David Cranon no. on Monday, and then Tuesday we'll see what happens okay. if I do. Um, do the prep show or not because it is the holiday. A book that you um, maybe uh, I can I can swindle uh, Miss Liz Bauman to come in and do the prep show with me, and we can just do some general D and D role playing talk. She's going to be here visiting me and my wife. So my D- wife, D twenty blonde. If you are familiar with uh, Ms. D twenty blonde from the tweeters, oh, yeah. so she will be here this coming weekend. Cool. Uh, hanging out with 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 Lindsay and me and whatnot, and Luigi. So Luigi. thank you so much for joining Luigi. us. Uh, Luigi. We appreciate yeah. again your support, your time and patience. Big ups to everybody who gave a donation during the Alzheimer's event. That was really a uh, touching. Yeah, sixty five hundred. No I had joke. a great time. I know Brian had a great time. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and it was a super fun session to play. The Marvel's session was hilarious. It was awesome. It was, it was an hour and a half of rolling super Making up characters, yeah. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to check it, uh, we'll have it up on the YouTube soon. So that's it for all of us. Thank you so much. I want to thank Mr. Dom thank Zook. Yay! I want to thank all of our mods. And until next time, let's dive